Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. Carlos, Toya, Virgil, got to see. Yes, it is quite early. I usually stream 8 p.m. CST, so I imagine it's like the crack of dawn. <laughs> but um, I was testing it out with, for the analytics. So hopefully it... Well, uh-oh. The game already started. Uh, I still gotta fix it. If I press escape, maybe control escape. Okay, there you go. Oh, wow. Okay, we are jumping straight into the game. So Little Misfortune is a... Uh, I want to say adventure point and clicker story kind of game. Now, it is more of a psychological horror because the main character is a kid. Oh, uh, should I put Pulsoid on? I think I should. So let me go ahead and get my Pulsoid on. Well... Maybe for this half? No, I think we're good. I think we're good on jump scares. Or maybe... Maybe... Oh, uh, no, I'll do Pulsoid. I did it for the first part one. Let me go ahead and get the audio started. I go to Steam Engine, Properties... Little Misfortune. So there's the game audio, but let me get the actual game overlay. Sometimes it's better to do it during the live stream, because if not, it gets super wacky. <laughs> like the last time I've done that for... There you go. The last time I did that for Until... Not Until Dawn. I would love to play Until Dawn. Isn't that a foreshadowing? Until Dawn is similar to... The same creators of the game, uh, The Quarry. But it was one of their first, or at least one of the first games I heard from their franchise. If that makes sense, me wording it. So yeah, we should totally play Until Dawn. At some point. Yeah. It's very similar, except their version is about... Well, it should be kind of exactly the same because the characters are still like 18 years old, high schoolers. Except, uh, we, yeah, and it's both taking place in the woods. So, kind of technically the same. I'm gonna put on the Pulsoid device. I've never tried exercising with it, but Pulsoid is also used for anybody who does like live streaming and they work out and stuff like that. Pretty cool stuff. Oh, If my eyeballs are all funny looking, if you see my eyes being, uh, super flirtatious, just know it's the settings. I've been playing with it. Okay, I adjusted it. Hopefully it'll get my heartbeat. Uh, and yeah. I'm actually relieved it's working on... on the, uh, game capture mode. Virgil, yes, spooky. It's gonna get super hardcore, edgy, and chaotic. So one of the main characters is known as Death. I want to say the narrator has been hinting that Little Misfortune is gonna have a um unfortunate, a <laughs> little pun, unfortunate end. But maybe we can save her. Ah, uh, go to settings. Make sure the volume is off. Other than that, I'm sorry, I'm stuttering. Uh, other than that, how was your Saturday? I know it must be like really early. You can just listen to me in the background <laughs> if you're sleepy. Is it, wait, what time is it for you? Is it like 6 a.m.? Oh, it's beeping. There it is! Aha! We did it! Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and increase the volume just a little bit more. So you guys can hear it. I can always adjust the settings back in the game. Okay, guys. Are you ready? For a little misfortune? I want to say the first time around, it was super glitchy and laggy. But let's hope this time, fingers crossed, it'll be alright. So I think we're at a festival. Okay. Little misfortune. Yes, we're at a Halloween festival! Now, if you're curious and it's your first time watching, the people with the mask, they're normal people. They're just, it's to emphasize that as you get older, or at least this description to the world, adults start to hide how they really feel. 
And so the mask is just representing a facade that people put on. And some of them smile, some of them look really creepy. But it's the whole point of Little Misfortune's perspective that adults are liars. I think that's what it's supposed to point out. That adults can be deceiving with how they're actually feeling. And she's learned that from her parents. And that she said one day she'll get a mask. Oh, it's, oh yes, point and click, I forgot. Wow, this looks like the creepiest place to ever exist. So scary. I wish I had a ticket to ride, though. Really? But hey, what's that falling just in front of you? It's a ticket! Please, don't play with my feelings. It can't be a ticket. Are you sure? It looks like a ticket to me. It can't be, but I'll check it out. It's a little laggy. Aw, oh, dang it. Oh, oh well. At least we're still together. <laughs> Nothing else has happened. They should be careful with these candles. That's crazy. People don't do that anymore, but I think they used to. They used to have where candles would be on like on a stick, but it could fall over and burn stuff around it. Oh, Virgil, it says, I took a quick nap and it's 2 a.m. for me. And by quick, I mean three hours. No, Virgil, go back to Mimi's. You need your sleepies. Yee. I do listen to people's streams at night, but they'll be like on the other side of the world sometimes. But that's rare. I usually listen to pre-recorded because I get so, I get so anxious. Yeah. <laughs> what? A ticket for real? Sweet and spooky. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, she just You're wants to be welcome, happy. Miss Fortune. Now, let's go find a boat to the fox. Remember? Mm-hmm. It says Carlos says spoilers. Toya says oh, oh Toya. Oh, I love your emojis. You guys are so cute. You guys are so kawaii cute. But yes, next week, I can go back to the regular hours. I'll have you guys vote so you can share with me what hours you think would match your preferences so we can kind of still be comfortable when it comes to streaming. I wouldn't want you guys waking up too early. I want you guys to get enough rest. Rest is so important. <gasps> A ghost! Damn, that's creepy. Miss Fortune, please mind your language. But I got scared. It's totally understandable. That's no excuse. Okay. So how come the narrator is very keen on language? You notice that? I mean, I guess because he's the adult, right? Oh, you can only move, like, forward and back. Do we even need... Oh, wait, we do need to get the ticket, right? Is that a skeleton? <gasps> Crabber. <laughs> The little owl. I don't know, have you guys ever been to one of these festivals? I have, like, on several... Mm, several times throughout the years as a kid. Like, my eyes are so funny. <laughs> my eyes are like one after the other. <laughs> it's not picking up my eyes. I could take off my, my glasses, but... I need them for the anti-blue light so I can stream for longer hours. I'm so distracted by you guys. Oh. Virgil says, I need to watch your stream, don't worry. I love to stay awake up at night, lol. Oh, Virgil. Man, I'd be falling back asleep. Phantasmagoria. I can't believe all of this is illustrated, too. So if anybody's curious that all of this is hand-drawn... ...which is even, like, more amazing. Like, look at that. Man, these people with the masks, I would... I don't, I'm surprised she's not as scared of them. Well, she's more afraid of this than people with the mask. What is your opinion on clowns? Like, what is the most creepiest crawly you've ever seen? When it comes to costumes and stuff. Are you scared of ghosts, clowns, skeletons? I feel like I was more scared of clowns. Especially clowns like this one. It says, welcome to Phantasmagoria. <laughs> Thank you. Wait, the balloon! The balloon! There you go. <gasps> oh, balloons. I love balloons. Just so you know that I love balloons. <laughs> okay, Miss Fortune. You know, he is quite patient with her. 
His kids like to share their ideas, their feelings. Hey, you, from the other side, Miss Fortune deserves to have a fun time. So try to make the right choices for her, all right? Okay. So, yes, I forgot. The story's all about, like, doing the right versus the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. I just have one ticket, so I can just ride one ride. I'm gonna look around first. All right. Oh, jack o lanterns Like what we did for Halloween. Whoa! He's huge! Or she. I've always wanted to try those stilts. They call them, like, um... Yeah, I think they're called stilts. Let me see real quick. Those are really cool. So people, when they go into the... The entertainment circus industry, stilts. Those are so awesome. Stilts for... For enter... Stilts... For legs. Yeah! But you have to practice. Why do people wear stilts? For entertainment. Stilt walkers perform in parades, festivals, street events, or at... Corporate functions. Wow, is it hard to walk on them? It's a skill you need to practice and hone. Expect to be clumsy when you start out. Start by taking small steps and then work your way up. When walking in stilts, you have to bend your legs more and lift your knees higher than you normally would. Wow. That is so awesome though. Stilt walkers are common in parades and circuses, but you also may see them at festivals and birthday parties. They bring unique entertainment to a wide variety of events. So this is just me reading about stilts. Dang! That looks kind of hard though. I'd be falling. <laughs> I mean, imagine falling from that height. That's... Whoa. Ooh! I thought it was replaying the same person, but I guess not. Oh, you can move back and forth. But only left to right. Anybody like hot dogs? Ooh! They're, they're overlapping the animation. Hey, you know... Once... I saw a documentary on TV about hot dogs. And now, I don't want to eat hot dogs. You know, I think I have seen the health documentary about hot dogs. How they're made. It's processed from a bunch of meat, chicken, pork, even beef. And it'll be like, you know, a combination of all of those like different types of meats. And like, it's kind of like the leftovers. And they want to make use of the whole animal. So they'll just kind of... Whoa! <laughs> Sorry about that. I was just trying to pull your leg. Oh, if were you? Do you? It one more time, I'll just shut my eyes tight and see nothing. It's a fox. He did it on purpose. He wants her to hate Benjamin. Even well, I don't even know if that's actually his name. Should I press? Should I click on it? We'll put sparkles. This looks like Benjamin, but creepier and angrier. What about the sparkles? This looks like Ben... Could I sparkle it? I forgot how to sparkle! How do I sparkle it? There you go! We did it! It's right click. I forgot... <laughs> There you go. Oh, she's like strong Benjamin. That's not too spooky. It was more of like the jump scare effect. Dang, still walkers. Hopefully they get paid enough money in case they fall. They have to get assistance in order to get off those, I'm sure. Because of the height. Check out those sweet unicorns. Oh, carousel. Oh, little baby sweet unicorn. This is your family. Say hello. Did you say? Okay. Now say bye-bye. And we'll go. Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? I kinda do. I really love carousels. In older movies from the 70s and 80s, you see that carousels were even ridden by adults. I kinda want this one. I kinda. But what if it backfires? Because the narrator has no intentions to make her happy. He wants to make her sad. How about no for now? Not sure yet. I'm gonna look around more. Exactly. shinzo has got a cheesy baby girl. Yes, got a cheesy. She is a baby girl. Shinzo, hey Sprinkles, how are you doing today? Oh, today? Oh, I feel pretty good. I took a nice bath before I hopped on stream. 
kind of just relaxes like all your muscles. Warm, nice baths. I do want to take a bubble bath sometime, but I have to, you know, you have to prep the tub. Because you don't want to just get in the tub and it be still like, you know, you have to scrub it before taking bubble baths. Just hygienic. Because everybody else, like if you have a household where other people also use it, you just want to make sure that it's clean for your bare bum to be on. Imagine all the sludge. It just builds up, you know what I mean? You gotta get rid of that dirt buildup. Garlo says, Miss Pringles, do you know how the end how the story ends? I do remember watching people play it. I don't remember the specifics on it. I think there's like a good and bad ending, right? Koya says the people with the masks remind me of Tokyo Ghoul for real for real. Yeah, Tokyo Ghoul? I really liked what's it was his name? Ah, oh, he's the one who made the masks. Tokyo Ghoul. I only watched a few episodes of the first season and then I fell out of it when he went crazy. Ah, Tokyo Ghoul. Who was the one? Tokyo Ghoul. Uh, the character who made the masks for the ghouls? That made masks. Uta. Uta, most of the ghouls of the 20th Ward wear masks made by Uta, who owns the High Sea Art Mask Studio. Is Uta a bad guy? One of the bigger bads of the series. Ooh. That's right, because he was involved in auctioning off people. Pretty crazy. Uta. You know, he was he was very punkish. You know what I mean? I don't think there was anything like he, his style and how artistic he was, because he would make the masks for the 20th Ward. But I didn't like that he would auction off people. That was more in the manga, though. You, I don't think you see that in the anime. Or maybe it's been too long since I've last seen an episode. Sometimes the manga doesn't translate all the events into the anime because they have to shorten it. Garlo says the narrator is trying to make the fox look bad. Yes. But I think, I don't know, I think Benjamin's good. Teenagers. Illuminati. Death. There's a lot of subliminal messages that are just going over her head, but we see it though. Anybody ever do pumpkin smashing? Kids would go around smashing jack-o'-lanterns. With their actual like feet. Of course with shoes on, but still. I would see them smashed every now and then, but I think for the most part people were polite enough not to. Because sometimes people actually want to have it till they rot. If you want the pumpkin or jack-o'-lantern to last longer, you need to soak the pumpkin in vinegar. Vinegar is supposed to be a safer alternative instead of using bleach. A lot of people will use chemical bleach to preserve it from being eaten by bugs and from rotting too quickly. So they'll like soak it in bleach. But I recommend vinegar because animals sometimes will try to eat because you know it's a giant gourd. It's a part of the vegetable family, so then they can't help but want to eat it, and it would kill animals because they were using the toxic chemicals to preserve it. So yeah, vinegar is a good. You know what I mean? A safer... Natural chemical to use? Yeah. I think you soak it before you cut it. So you soak the whole jack... You, oh, the pumpkin. Jack-o'-lanterns when you carve it. But it's like a pumpkin before you carve it. Some people actually will get a pumpkin and... You know, wash it and then cook it and make pumpkin pie. Straight from the guts. They'll even mash up and start cutting the outer edges of it and just kind of grinding it. That is how pumpkin pie is made. Some people prefer yam. You can make yam pie, sweet potato pie, instead of pumpkin. Some people find pumpkin to be a little tangy and bitter, so they'll do like sweet potato. Mmm, yam or sweet potato. I think yam is actually healthier than sweet potato, but I'm sure that's also like debatable, depending on preferences. Toya says, I just found out today that they made it the live action version of Tokyo Ghoul. I think I've been seeing a lot of live-action versions of animes recently. There is the Netflix series One Piece. They made it into a live-action. That one's not bad. I never got into One Piece, but I might get into it for the live-action version. I bet the animation's probably a lot more... mind... well... I'm sure there are preferences, but I don't know. I might get into the live-action because the episodes are slowly coming out. 
I'm very intimidated by the anime episodes. There's so many. I think there's like hundreds, right? It's more than a thousand episodes of One Piece. But there's only like a few episodes of One Piece live action. It's not too bad. I watched the anime do a re the anime man do a review. Oh yeah, what is she gonna say about the pumpkin? The mean children at school say that I have a pumpkin head. I can see the resemblance. What? The what? Nothing. Huh, okay. He just insulted little Miss Fortune. She's a kid. She's gonna have a, you know... Kid, children... Oh gosh. Children's proportions aren't gonna be, you know... Because they're still growing into their, like their, you know... Their body. <laughs> I was... On Twitter and I guess Chemical X. I'll call it Chemical X as in Twitter because it's an X. Pretty cool, mysterious. Some wicked vibes of Twitter. I think the rebranding definitely is just. I can't help it. Powerpuff Girls and the the X Chemical X. Yeah, I guess it'll be an inside joke for us. Why I call it Chemical X. I'm sure other people kind of have that like weird nostalgia too, from the early 2000s, late 90s. Now, they did come out with a different version of Powerpuff Girls, like an anime version. Ah, uh, I've seen a few episodes, but eh. I kind of get flaky on series if I'm not too into it. I probably would have liked it years ago when I was a kid. But it only came out a few, maybe like four years ago, the anime version of Powerpuff Girls. Cadence, under seven min. Hello, buddies. You're just in time. We haven't done too much. I think we've been just talking about like... Oh, did I miss it? Wait! That's a lot of candy. I don't know if we should, though. Ah, the smell of freshly made candy is delightful. Ah, yes. Too bad we can't afford any. There's some candy on the ground. I could use the party hut to make my own mixed candy corn. Come on, Miss Fortune. Don't even think about it. I'm doing it. Ugh. That's Are gross. You gonna eat some of it? Ah, should we eat some of it? Uh, I want to say yes for completion, but no because there could someone could pee. You know how people can be gross and they'll just kind of pee wherever they want. What if there's pee on it? Some people do that in public spaces. You'll just find urine, and you're thinking, "Oh, it must have been a dog." But there's a big distinctive difference between the smell of. Of dog pee versus human pee. You know what I mean? Like, there is a difference. I don't know if anybody else has the, that kind of sensitive nose where they can tell the difference. I feel like I can. You know what I mean? You go into a public bathroom, you can tell the smell of, like, it's people, feces, and pee versus dog, feces, and pee. Because they eat a different type of, like... They eat dog food, right? So then you can tell compared to people. Maybe that sounds ridiculous. Maybe that sounds too gross and like, you know, so... Such an odd kind of like ability. <laughs> Could that be considered a superpower, maybe? I don't know, I can tell. I don't know about anybody else though. I think I just have a sensitive nose. It says... Carlos says, Ni hao. Oh. Toy says, uh, Life Action Tokyo Ghoul only has two movies. The first one only shows half of the season. One of the animes I haven't watched the second one yet. Uh, Carlos's face? What? Are you... Oh, confusion? Yeah, no, I can tell. So I don't think we should eat it, but for completion purposes... Okay. I'm sorry, we have to complete it. We have to find out what happens. Of course, it's free candy. Delicious. Oh. <laughs> That's gross. There's a cigarette in there. Oh, I can press it? No, she ate the cigarette! Nasty! Oh, she got cavities, though. She needs to brush more in the back of her molars. Uh-oh, this gets trippy! Oh, no. We didn't even get to write anything. Oh, God. So... Her mom... Well, she, her mom's eating cigarette buds. And now her dad's on fire. Or he, the doll's supposed to represent her father. 
and her little sad heart. How's the audio, by the way? Just making sure that I didn't... Like, it's not, oh, like, too oh, much. My heart hurts. What is it, Miss Fortune? I don't know. I think the candy made me feel bad. Well, I told you just to leave it. Yeah, that's true. Silly me. Mm. Happiness to Miss Fortune. <laughs> oh, much better. You ate cigarette buds. Yeah, she should have just picked up the candy with wrappers on it. Instead, she just ate the wrapper and the candy. That's why you don't feel good. Ooh, horror house? I would love to do that. I don't like riding alone. I, I'd like the ones where it's two-seater. I uh, will pass this one for now, though. Because we only click on it if we want to ride it. But I kind of do want to ride it. But the narrator is not even, like, physically there. Before we leave, don't you want to use your ticket? What? Ah, yes, my ticket. Of course. I kind of want to do horror house. Is that wrong of me? I know she's a kid, but I mean... I think they have an age limit, so they could tell us no. Oh, sweet. That haunted house must be terrifying. Yeah, with skeletons. Is this the ride you want to spend your ticket on? Carl Oak, no we got real at 12. Hello. Says throws whipped cream pie at Noodle. I wish I could move. I can't. I'm stuck. Oh, poor Noodle. We'll eat it together, Noodle. We'll eat the whipped cream pie. Yes. All right, then. Have a pleasant ride. Alone? You're not coming with me? Well, I guess we're here with her. Spooky! Dun, 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 dun. Kitties! Be brave! It's just a kitty game ride. I miss writing these kind of like... I was about to call it an arcade game. It's only around Halloween. It's only like once a year you can go ride them. Oh, I don't feel so good. I'm feeling this. You think you're going to puke? I don't want to. But the ride went too fast. It was fun. All right, good. Take a deep breath and you'll soon feel better. She barfs, right? <sighs> okay. Good, good. Now, let's go find that boat. The boat? <sighs> okay, I'm okay. Come, Rail says it's just for Noodle. It's for me, too. <laughs> I will also be eating pie. Free pie. I would love some pie. Mm. Can we ride it a second time? Probably not. I kind of want to test it, though. Can we ride it a second time? I already used my ticket. Oh. I can't ride this one. I gotta sneeze. Under seven min! It's got a cheesy, says. Because she's a minor, her brain is not fully developed yet. What do you mean? Oh, for her to realize to not to eat the wrappers? And, oh, or do you mean in reaction to the Ada? creepy... Frawley's stuff? Um... Interesting. <laughs> she called them Hero. Ah, oh, there's a bunch of games here. Can I play one? Oh, of course. You must play one before we leave on the boat. I just love it here, don't you? <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> I want to play a game now. Carlos says there's nobody nourishing a little kid walking around in the middle of the night. Nobody's paying attention to her. Says a lot about society. There's a massacre game? Is it spelled right? Danger. Now with real bullets. Or whack a fox. Like whack a mole? Win reward tickets. Can I get a balloon? Fortuna. Can we only choose one? I kind of want to do this one. Because there's a little doll. Check those sweet rewards. A oh, golden we... sugarly coin, a cute tiny skirt, and a doll. Ah, damn it. 
I'm kind of low. I'm sorry. Wait, I skipped it. Sorry. Let's go back. We have to play. Fortuna. Sweet. A fortune teller. Can I try this? It looks like you need a reward ticket. Uh, okay. Scarcheesy says, What happened to your rabbit? The rabbit was replaced by a noodle. Can I have a balloon? Mr. Voice, can I get a balloon? Because my mommy never gave me one. So maybe you can give me one. Well, you know we can't afford any, but look! What's that? A floating balloon! <laughs> Is it for me? Yes. Okay, <laughs> thank you. It's not gonna pop, is it? What if it pops? Please don't pop. Oh, my heart! Ah, uh, here's my luck. Oh, Miss Fortune, I'm sorry about the balloon. Don't worry. Thank you anyway. He's a liar! He deceived us! Do I have to play a massacre? I kind of want to whack him. Let's do massacre last. That's dangerous! Check this out. I can get a reward ticket if I win. <laughs> I'm gonna play this. Please, go ahead. I can't wait to see what it's about. Is it me or are those games... Are these tiny foxes like Benjamin? They're dangerous foxes. They're so Pretend cute! They stole your eternal happiness and whack them. Whack them! Okay. Oh no, I missed. Oh no, I missed. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we got a reward! Nice! Yes, I won! Great whacking misfortune! He's too happy about that. Play again! More tickets! Come on, boing. Head down! Oops! Head down! <laughs> Boing. Sorry. Come to slow. We still got a reward. Keep playing. We need more tickets. This is safer than Massacre. I will not play that oh, game. Oh no, I missed. Head down. <laughs> oh no, I missed. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Head down. Boing. <laughs> we need more. Under hablas espanol. This is Carlos. It's kind of cheesy. He says, Why is the dog have seizures? No, noodles fine. Should we even dare? I, this is with real bullets. I, I just can't. I can't. Not, not her. She's a baby. How many tickets do we need, though? Let's try going for the doll first. It needs three tickets. Oh, one of those dolls again. I... Reality will transform into what the child desires most. Reality will transform into what the child desires the most. Oh, really? A desire, you say? Virgil says time to be farming. Farming? Oh, you mean farming for foxes or hunting for foxes? I like the slayers. What did you choose? Nothing. Oh, he didn't. Does he not see the doll or is he pretending not to notice? Let's go to Miss Fortuna. Sweet, a fortune teller. Can I try this? Use a reward ticket. Hello, I'm Miss Fortune Ramirez Hernandez, and I want to know the future of me. Please, thank you. <laughs> Ooh. Once you see the beyond, the beyond sees you, and you can be sure it will be coming for you. <gasps> the beyond is coming for me? <laughs> What's the beyond? Want to try again? Ah! 
god, what? No, we don't have any more. I'm itchy. I got bit by ants. I was out yesterday relaxing in the sun. I was sunbathing. I want to get. I want to get a ticket. Can I not? I can't get a balloon. Maybe it requires real money, but then who's actually managing the purchases of a balloon? I feel like anybody can take it. Ah, uh, yeah, we're not doing massacre. Oh, there's a farm. Is that what you meant? It's time to be farming. You know, her head compared to other kids is kind of quite big. And she is standing far away from people, like in the... Kind of like at a distance. Interesting. I kind of want another fortune. Can I continue playing? Like, how many fortunes can you get told? Garlo says the shadowing... We're shadowing the problem of the story, says Carlos. Let's play this one a few times for more tickets. Nothing bad's gonna happen, right? Nothing... Like, there's no evil in playing the game, right? Like, nothing bad. Oops. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> Head down. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> oh no, I missed. <laughs> I kinda want another, though. Boink. Head down. Boink. So how many more do we need, though? Mm. We got the doll, which is what matters. Can I run? Oh, I can run. How much is it? Well, we don't really need those. Is it a costume? Two tickets, one ticket. Maybe we do need them all. Dang it. A tutu for the unicorn. Let's do this a few more times. <laughs> Let's get everything. You look amazing in this tiny skirt. Shut up. Aww, there you go, unicorn. So you look like a sweet little lady. So pretty. Her teeth. Are those dentures? I think this unicorn can bite. So let's go get two more. Let's play two more times. How many tickets do you get with the other game, though? I want to test it out, but I'm not just maybe not. It's got a cheesy. It's got a cheesy. Says, "How old are you, Sprinkles?" I am an adult, so I'm over the age of 18. That's as much as I'll probably give. I know there are some VTubers who are much more mature. They'll be like 30, 40, 50. In their 20s. It kind of all depends. Some of them disclose, some of them even show who they like, what they look like. And the flesh, you know? But some agencies prevent that. It's more like indies will probably do that. These Sojo members have shown themselves. Not all of them, though. I probably won't give the specifics. But those are good. Well, are you distracted? Sorry. Don't just love. Oh no, I missed. <laughs> Head down. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> we need three more. Because I want two fortunes told. And I want the gold medal for her to feel better. <laughs> Oops. Head down. Oh no, I missed. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oops. Oh no, I'm... Damn it. No! Well, you can try as many times as you want. Ah, uh, okay. You can try this again? Boink. <laughs> Boink. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Okay, one more time, and then we can get our, fo our fortune told two more times. Well, let's see if we can get as many fortunes as possible and break the machine. Oh no, I missed. <laughs> let's try to break the fortune machine. I think if you request too many times, she might break. I think. I don't know if that's an ending. Oh, there we go. Shut up. Oh 
check that out. I won all the reward tickets. Oh, you and did? I'm awesome. That's really impressive. Nine hits. I know, right? <laughs> Win all reward tickets. We're not... Yeah, I am sorry. I couldn't do Massacre. Would have said real bullets? No. Oh, she struggles when she runs. Oh, she's such a baby. It's got a cheesy says. I think the voice actress is very talented for the game because it is a grown woman that voices Little Miss Fortune. But that's the point of becoming a voice actor or actress. You can voice a variety of characters depending on what they're looking for. Not too bad. I know depending on... I want to say in a lot of anime, sometimes they actually have like a kid voicing child characters. But the grown women for, for the JP voice acting, they're very like spot on. Especially for like Spy X Family. The person who voices Anya. Who is the voice actress who voices Anya? I gotta go check it out real quick. I can't remember who. Now, some people prefer the JP voice acting instead of the EN acting voice acting for Spy X Family. Let's see, Spy X Family voice actress. Actress Anya. So then, Anya is voiced by. Ooh, what happened to Anya's voice actor? In a recent update, the official English dub account for Spy X Family introduced Brian April as the temporary voice actor for Anya for Forge in the anime season two English dub. The change was necessitated by Megan Shipman, who typically provides the English voice for Anya, as she's going on maternity leave. October 29, 2023, season two voice actor for Anya gets temporarily replaced. Who is the voice? Oh, let's see. Um, but who voices her for the JP? Mm. Ooh. Yeah, I think it's Atsumi Tanizaki. Tanizaki. I think that she's the one who voices Anya. Oh, there's like three voice actresses. Oh, okay. Park Shi Yun. Megan Shipman. Megan Shipman does the EN version of voice acting for Anya. Atsumi does the JP. And I, I want to say the Korean dub is by Park Shi Yun. So yeah, there's a lot of voice actresses that'll do like different ages for characters, and it makes sense. It really just depends on the direction they're going in. But yeah, I don't think there's any shame in them voicing. Oh, wait, who does wait who voices? Little Misfortune. Little Misfortune. Little Misfortune voice actress. Natalia Martinson was worked alongside her husband, Isaac Martinson, to create the game as Henrik Norman voices Mr. Voice, the game's narrator and antagonist. Little Misfortune received mostly mixed reviews from critics. But yeah, her name is Natalia. So she's the one who voices Little Misfortune. I want to say the EN. She okay. She speaks with a Swedish accent, often pronouncing her J's as Y as Y's. However, she does slightly roll her R's, leading some fans to think she was a Ru had a Russian accent, Russian descent. Despite her being voiced by Swedish, by a Swedish woman, and the game being set in Sweden, she occasionally swears with Mongo chiding her. Morgo. Morgo, I think, as in the, the voice of Mr. Narrator. But yeah. So then Natalia voices her, and she's Swedish. So if anybody's curious about the language in the background, you see a lot of the different translation. It's not EN. Even though we're listening to the English version. That golden chocolate coin looks delicious. I'll take that. Wait, it's chocolate? Maybe we'll use it for a later, like, kind of puzzle. Let's go get our fortune told two more times to see what happens. I've always wanted to do a fortune teller game, but some of them actually use money and not tickets. Of course, the tickets you buy is... 
you know, still at the cost of, like, spending actual money to purchase tickets. You know what I mean? Like, $5 or $20 for, like, 20 tickets. Kind of example. Let's go ahead and use a ticket to see what she says now. Yes, again. What you see in the beyond is not what you see, but what you don't see. Oh, really? <laughs> Talk about crazy. Want to try it again, then? Yes, one last time, because for one last ticket. Okay, okay, again. You are being lied to at this very moment. Trust me, Mimi. Don't trust anything. Ah, oh, really? Who is lying to me? Is Benjamin lying to me? <gasps> what? Ooh! Mr. Narrator. So... I guess the fortune teller box is kind of accurate. I always found them mysterious, like the actual ones you can interact with. If you go to amusement parks or theme parks. I guess amusement or theme parks are kind of typically the same, just said differently. Hello! Do you see me? See how big we are compared to her? Okay, let's acknowledge the crow. Oh no, too bad. Yes, poor little birdie. Maybe he was flying drunk. You know, like my mommy did once and crushed daddy's car. Like this little birdie crushed with its body, you know? Yes, I get it, Miss Fortune. It's still sad. It crushed. We all know it was the narrator. I'm happy the skeleton's hanging by the head and by nothing else. Let's give it a... Oh, we can sparkle them? I forgot. I think I need to do this, right? Because I'm sure you can sparkle. How? Hold on a second. If I press escape and I go to save, I need to save, I forgot. Let's go ahead and save for save one. Yes. Go to options. How do I use the sparkle again? There you go. Top hat for the skeleton and a happy ghost. It's good for our soul. Oh no, the ghost is just sad. Oh. Because the ghost is dead. It says... It says Swan Lake. It says you need one golden coin to ride the boat. Huh, okay. Now we have a Grim Reaper kind of character. Check this boat out. It's like a black swan. How cool is that? Really, really cool. Tell me about it. Anyway, this boat will take you where you need to go. You mean to Benjamin's house? Yes, and it's just one golden coin. I got the sweet chocolate coin reward. Is that good? I don't think that would... No, see, it's fine. Oh, look at that. Well, are you ready to leave? I think we're done from exploring the festival. We should just probably go and join Death. This is going to be so cool. I hope we don't get attacked by virus, though. <laughs> or the Kraken. What's a Kraken? Well, if you see it, you'll know. But tell me, I'm curious now. We don't have time for that, Miss Fortune. Just forget it. Ugh, but now I'll think about it forever. Ugh. It's got a cheesy. Ah, oh, Kraken. If you appear in front of me, I will see you. And if I see you, I will know it is you. Sweet Kraken, come up in front of me right now. Ugh, what's a freaking Kraken? 
Hey, this place is very quiet. Is one allowed to talk? Anyway, I was thinking, is the Kraken available for petting? You know, like uh, some pet doggies, some pet kitties. I want to pet the Kraken, if it's possible. Well, I heard you could lure it out with fish. With fish, you say? Well, I don't have any fish on me. I guess I won't be petting the Kraken. Well, there's a fish. <gasps> Was that the fish from the bridge? Yes. <laughs> I think he's happy because I saved him. You remember I saved him from the bridge? Remember? Yes, I remember. Did you see the kiss he gave me <laughs> on my mouth? Ew! Because he was in love with me. Gross! Because I saved him. <laughs> Somebody loves me. Ugh. Hey, Mysterious, are you taking me now to the house of Benjamin? You know, that blue-eyed, soft, fluffy fox who happens to be a great artist and stole my happiness? You don't seem to want to talk about it. And why is that you collect coins? That's how you pay for your rent and food, right? Miss Fortune, just leave him alone. No, he wants to hear. Anyway, do you like to eat sushi? I know about sushi because I have a Japanese ghost friend. By the way, can you speak Japanese? I need some translations. Do you know what this means? Kiriba doku desu ka? So you don't know, huh? You know, I've never been outside this late by myself. Do you go outside by yourself this late every day? Are you going to eat my chocolate coin? Because I'm a bit hungry. Ah, stop talking! Ah, why should I stop talking? Nobody else is talking. Hey, Mysterious, where are you going? Oh no, can he swim? Hello? That's what happens when little ladies ask too many questions. It makes people want to drown themselves. Ah, stop it. I'm pretty sure he'll be fine. Look, we have arrived. The Virgil says, Sprinkles, I'm very happy to have you in my special VTubers list. Thank you. I appreciate it. For anybody who doesn't know, I am trying my best to learn your RPG games voicing and VTubing. It's really evolved around voice acting, kind of. Because I hope to someday be a voice actress. So if anybody is curious. Ooh, a great person to check out who are voice actors and actresses would be Monarch at the top of my head. Sayu. Sayu is more for... He's male. I'm sure he could voice some female characters. And then Monarch, I want to say mostly females. Sakura Cardcaptor, I want to say Overlord. Overlord's an anime, if I remember correctly. I believe it's called Overlord. A game developer gets trapped inside of one of the software games he was working on, and he becomes one of the main characters. But thank you, Virgil. I appreciate it. It makes me feel good. And that's a lot of children's toys. Ooh, there is an island. Oh, it's, I think it's called Doll Island? Muneka Island? So there's a creepy tall tale that there is an island. Oh, I want to say in Mexico. Let's see, Doll Island, Mexico. Because it looks just like this one except more with stuff. And it's usually like kids' toys. Doll Island, Mexico. It's supposed to be a mysterious, creepy island. Island of the Dead Dolls. So it's an actual place... by... Yes, the, I the Island of Dolls. That's exactly what it's called! Oh my goodness. It's really close to Mexico City. And a lot of tourists will go there, but they do warn people, you know, that it's disturbing. Basically, the story behind the, uh, the, uh, the, the island of dolls is that this island has been ho their home since 1950, when according to a local folklore, a child fell into the water from... Uh, from an artificial island built on fresh water for agricultural purposes. A local man... 
Huh? I want to say... A local man, Santana, jumped in to save her, but the child died from drowning. So this article is abc.net.au, October 29, 2022. The story behind the island of the dolls. So they would... The guy, he was putting dolls there to appease the child's spirit, but it only became more spiritually active because of all the dolls he would find. And I think it goes that he would find whatever washed up on the shore or on the side of the river. Pretty scary. You can go look it up. We could watch it after if we have time, but I don't think so. Ah, what is the playthrough of Little Misfortune? So yeah, it takes place in an island in Mexico City in Mexico. There have been so many documentaries, but it kind of looks like this except with dolls hanging from trees. So, <laughs> I mean, I've never gone because I'm a chicken, but I'm sure that would be a great, like a great place to go. And of course you want to make sure like you, well, people go, I don't know what the hours are. I'd have to look that up. Some people like to go at night, but it is dangerous, you know, it is a body of water. Virgil says, the GL on your VA journey? Yes, I am on my voice actress uh, journey. That's the real reason why I became a VTuber. Oh, oh, my nails. Oh! I need to cut my nails, they're too long now. Oh, Carlos. <gasps> Check that out. It's the toy graveyard, I'm telling you. Whatever you say, Miss Fortune. That's... that's creepy. What time is it? It's getting really dark. It is getting dark. Mr. Voice, are you there? Hello? There's something wrong here. Something very wrong. What's wrong, Mr. Voice? What do you mean? It's coming. Hide. Hide. I don't know what you're playing, but if you scare me, I'll close my eyes. Mm. There's some human bones. Hiro? She did mention that Hiro was her imaginary best friend, but I think he might have been a real kid up until one point. I think there's something wrong with the narrator. <laughs> he just... Uh, he's not... He doesn't really show any maternal affection to Little Misfortune. He's just very kind of... Honestly, he's really up to seeing her cry and be disappointed. When he popped her balloon and gave, her, gave it to her. I don't know. I do remember bits and pieces of the game, but I can't remember all of it because I think I watched it like once or twice, like a whole playthrough. Garla says the demon. Muerto says, yo, yo, didn't know the stream would be so early. Muertos, welcome. It's kind of funny, muertos as in like death. Virg oh, let's see. Virgil says, sorry, enjoy, and take care. Goodbye, goodbye. Thank you for coming. I, I really... I'm really happy you guys are enjoying the game. Or, you know, at least coming to play with me. That's a lot of mushrooms. Oh, oh damn it. My little foot got stuck. And now the voice narrator is not gonna save her. Uh-oh. It's the monster. Mr. Voice, can you see? Can you see it? <gasps> oh, I forgot! <laughs> Is it a bad ending? Leave me alone. Whoa, so there is a bad ending if we let him touch what us. What are you running away from? <laughs> is it the fox? Keep running! I'm pretty sure it was the fox. You uh, say... It's the monster. I saw it again. You don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I do. I saw it. <laughs> oh, he's he's recording don't it. Make any sudden moves. Let's get up. Oh, he helps little misfortune. <gasps> Your boss, so soft. Oh, a little Touch weirdo. <laughs> filthy paws, you beast. Oh, you're scaring him away. 
I wonder if he hears the voice. Don't leave, Benjamin. We're gonna find out, though. And now we're gonna have her run. I've been having her walk the whole time, but I really should just, like... Please. Oh, now it's all automatic. Stop and listen to me. There's something I need to tell you. If you keep running, you'll end up badly hurt, and I don't want that. You're too important. But I want to find Benjamin. He was nice to me. Yes, Trust he me. was. He was it's very dangerous. sweet to you. Stop running, please. <laughs> Keep running after Benjamin! I don't trust Mr. Narrator. Whoa! <gasps> What's this? Really? You don't remember me saying if you keep running, you'll end up hurt. Uh-huh. I know I could have been more specific, like, there's a bear trap up ahead. Stop or you will be hurt. But I felt like getting straight to the point. Okay, okay. Thank you. Who left a bear trap here anyway? I haven't seen any bears. Well, I don't want to point any fingers, but it was obviously the fox. Also, I don't like the fox. I have what you call foxophobia. Is that true? Yes, I swear. Now, let's focus on the eternal happiness again. <laughs> All right. Foxophobia, is that how you spell it? It says foxophobia, the irrational fear of... It says not specifically, but often, uh... Wait, what? Uh, <laughs> that's completely something else. I was thinking it was foxophobia as in, like, you're afraid of foxes. I'm gonna put define. Oh, it also says little misfortune on the search engine. Foxophobia is the fear of foxy ladies or gentlemen. Anybody have foxophobia? Any foxophobia people in chat today? It's actually a, a referring to, like, just attractive people. Not so much as in furries, it just says a foxy, as in like, you know, seductive, sassy. Alive! Hello, Alive! Thank you for coming! Carlos says the narrator is capping. The narrator's evil. We saw the hand, the creepy crawly hand. It did not look like a fox paw. And like, Little Misfortune acknowledged, the little fox paw was actually soft and fuzzy. Compared to the claw, which looked very just creepy, you know? Oh, this makes me think about Bubsy, you know? Did, did I show you Bubsy the teddy in the secrets book? He will be very sad to know about this, you know? These bear clubs, because he's a teddy bear. He lives in a world of fantasy where there are no bear traps. And if he will go in the woods, he will see this and not know he's dying. No! Bubsy no, being dear. killed by a bear trap. That's how it is now. He's dead. Bubsy died. What are you talking about? About Bubsy, don't you listen? Let's keep going now, Miss Fortune. Bye, Bubsy. Trap dead in the bear trap. I can sparkle, though. It's like, I, I don't know how I keep missing it. Left click, right click. Maybe if I press Z, spacebar? Can I press spacebar? Oh, this makes me think about Bubsy, you know? Did, did I show you but He will be there, these bear clubs. He lives in a world of... And if he will... No, I'm sorry, I keep skipping it. it is now. Bubsy died. What are you talking about? About Bubsy, do Let's keep going. Bye, Bubsy. Trap that in the bear trap. I'm trying to sparkle it, but I can't. I'm clicking. It, it won't let me. If we sparkle it, then... I think it's only when we see the eye icon. Uh, this bit did I show Dang you? It, no, I got stuck in it! No! I don't want to listen, listen to it and if again. He will... No, I see Bubsy. That's how it is now. Bubsy died. What are you talking about? Bubsy, do Let's keep going. Bye, Bubsy. Trap Dang it! Oh. The I'm trying to sparkle it so she can feel better. Because the more you sparkle, the thing she's afraid Let's of, the better. This one says. For her psyche. It's stuck, huh? Now what does this do? The elimination of prime will dissolve the filth of the beyond. Oh, really? 
Interesting. I'll leave. So the main character, Little Miss Fortune, she's been talking to a voice called Mr. Narrator, and he's kind of leading. He's leading her on a path away from safety, because she he led her away from home, through the woods, through a park, across a river, where she's almost died or been in really bad situations where she can get hurt. And we honestly, you're right, it doesn't really have a direction as to where, like, what's going on. It's kind of like she's just wandering around, kind of lost. Now we're going through a field. And then we did see, like, bones and carcasses. It almost got attacked by a monster. Like, a gigantic, like, demon kind of hand just came out. So, I admit, it is kind of confusing. But I think that's what gives it the psychological factor of it being very misleading. Because she doesn't know what's going on either. I'm still trying to sparkle it, but every time I click on it... Oh, there it is. Happy bear okay. trap. What was that? The games... You, oh, wait. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. The games you enjoy, you can have them all. Oh, nice. So each doll you collect gives what you a... What are you doing? Nothing. Each doll you collect gives you a warning, and the fox, Benjamin, he's potentially giving us, the the protagonist, playing with Little Misfortune, warnings so, about... Miss Misfortune, I have a couple of questions for you. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Wonderful. Now, just be honest and think about it before answering. First question. Do you believe in magic? I do believe in magic. Yes, yes, I do. When mommy and daddy scream, I go to my secret hiding spot. And in my secret spot, they never drink cues and never scream at me. That's magical, don't you think? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, it is, my sweet child. Moving on, mm -hmm. second question. Like do you, you like Little Miss Fortune? He is so mean to her. He's played so many, like, tricks, like, dirty tricks. Not the ones where you laugh and, like, oh, it's so cute. Not, like, cute magic tricks. He's been playing really rude ones where he just kind of makes fun of her. And that's not right for a child's, like, for their confidence. Where he made fun of her big head. She was telling him that she got bullied for it, and he just laughed at her. He is not the best adult to be around in her case. Like, she needs someone who's gonna be uplifting. You know what I mean? And of course, she doesn't know any better. Like you said, Carlos, her brain development is still like... She's still just a baby. Your brain... Okay, so the... The, little, the brain fully develops when they reach... When we reach about 24? 24, 23, 25? Around that age, your brain completely is like grown and they i think they call it like where the brain stops to not stops developing but it's when it's fully functional it's kind of crazy it takes that long so to make better choices i think they say that you can make better choices after you reach that mark something like that i'm sure i could look it up though since we're talking about the brain brain fully develops I want to say it's 23 to 25 fully develops for both females. Full brain fully develops. It says the brain finishes developing and maturing in the mid to late 20s. The part of the brain behind the forehead called the prefrontal cortex is one of the last parts to mature by, um, by health.gov. At what age is the brain fully developed? It is well re-established that the brain undergoes a rewiring process that is not complete until approximately 25 years of age. This discovery has enhanced our basic understanding and regarding adolescent brain ma maturation, and it has provided support for behaviors experienced in late adolescence and early adulthood. Maturation of the adolescent brain, PMC NCBI. So they say about 25, it says, do male brains develop later than female? It says, publication in the Journal of Cognitive Neuroscience. It is the first study that directly links brain development to gender differences and school performance. With this research, we disprove the neurological myth that boys are lagging behind in brain development. 
So basically, both female and male completely fully develop and mature by the age 25. Um, give or take on their estimation. It says, is the brain fully developed by age 30? This paper from researchers at the Mayo Clinic demonstrates the brain development continues beyond the teenage years and doesn't stop until around age 30. However, it doesn't specifically show how this late development affects our cognitive abilities. So there you go, buddies. We both, female and male, we both mature about in our mid-twenties, like 25, give or take, estimation. And we keep developing as life goes on. And that the cognitive abilities are not given an approximate... Uh, it says what... Yes, it doesn't really give an estimate on that, though. <laughs> cognitive as in, like, thinking, as in, like, you know... Yes, let's see. Cognitive, cognitive, define. Cognitive, retaining to cognition. The mental action, the process of acquiring knowledge and understanding through thought, experience, and senses. Perception, discernment. Learning, comprehension, insight, intelligence, thinking, reasoning. Okay, that's not bad. Awareness. Okay, so they can't really measure our awareness, but they can measure, like, at least the brain matter. I've seen... I, I'm, you know what? I've seen people cut open and they'll do, you know... Uh, what do they call it again? We've d I've seen a brain before, but I think it was maybe in middle school. We went to like a science museum and they'll show you like brain matter. They'll preserve. And they'll showcase it for people to look at. You know, it kind of looks like an alien. It's like a little... I don't know. That's what I think about brains. I always thought of like a horror movie. I think there was an old science fiction horror movie from like the 50s, I think? It was like a black and white. And it was about this brain. And it turns out the brain would like infect other people's brains and take over and replace it. And that's how they would consume mind control over like humanity. It was supposed to be like a creepy gimmick that the brain is, you know, that there's different species of aliens that have brains like ours, but they need a body to function. So they'll take over your body and replace your brain. Yeah, that's what I think about brains. So that's what I... That's what I, I reimagine when I first saw a brain as a kid. I just thought of that story about, like, the evil alien brain. Because it looks no different than our own. It's supposed to be, like, a science fiction thriller. I don't remember if humanity succeeds or not. I just know that the doctor gets infected. And his brain gets re... Like, placed. Kind of scary to think about, but like it's kind of like a parasitic brain. Ali says, I see a door to explore with obstacles. Yes, the narrator is being a naughty adult. Do I, do we trust him? I say no. Ma, you're just a voice in my Exactly. Head. Mommy talks to herself a lot too. Oh. She says it's her inner demons and that they just keep them away. Aww. I'm sorry to hear that. Hi. Are you my inner demon? Yes. Me? A demon? Yes. Uh, no. Nah. Yes, I demon, think so. Not with the silly voice. <laughs> well, anyway. Now, for the third question. Are you afraid of dying? Muertos, yes, I think it... I think... Well, I remember it's an alien movie. That old plant alien movie. Did it involve a plant? I thought it involved the scientists trying to dissect this, this like, weird alien brain that they discovered. It might be. At least says too far. Ah, uh, the narrator is saying naughty. <laughs> nah, naughty and bad are very similar. Muerto says we're, uh, if, well, if you were asleep, it takes over. Oh. So it only functions when you're asleep? We have to rewatch it. Is it still copyrighted? It probably is still copyrighted. I wish we could watch it together. Maybe like on kick or something, but you know. Are we afraid of dying? Nah, it's a part of life. It's how you die though. No, I'm not afraid of death because all, all, all dead people I know never came back from being dead. So it must be pretty cool to be dead. <laughs> well, I guess you'll find out when you die. He's threatening Looks little misfortune. Like there's going to be a storm. Oh no, I hope it doesn't rain that much. I don't like my feet getting wet. I'm a little...
little lady, you know. Hey, look at that. I think we're here. Benjamin! Stay cool, Miss Fortune. I'm cool. I'll keep an eye out here while you go inside and look for clues. I'm sure that Fox has hidden the eternal happiness here. Make sure the uh, cabin is empty. That looks very concerning, sir. Run. All right. Because there's blood on the door and the shape of a fox. I feel like this is his cabin, not Benjamin's. Ooh, how is the audio? Anybody want um, uh, to let me know if I should increase or decrease it? Oh, Carlos. It's only a creepy movie, I promise. It doesn't actually happen, I promise. There is no alien brain. It's just a spooky movie. Oh, it looks like Benjamin's good at cutting wood. He must be so muscular. <laughs> I don't think it was Benjamin. I think it's Mr. Narrator. He evil. Can I go this way? Oh, we can't. We can hide behind the tree, but then not really. I think it's... Be brave, Miss Fortune. Nah. Ooh. Okay. I will look around. Maybe I can find my eternal happiness. If Benjamin has it, I ask him to share that prize with us. And everything will be fine. We have no reflection. Is this Benjamin's? He mm. got some sweet style. I like it. I don't know. So we see clues of hay. So someone's been through the forest. We see fur. We see some type of... Oh, it's behind me. Dang it! If I turn just a little, you can see it. It's and hay. It's, yeah. So we have no reflection. This is a nice incense burner, candle, warm tea. I have coffee with me. Because I decided to stream early. It's been really good, I think. I think we get more analytics for this time of hour, like a better on regards to... Oh... Well, I have to double check it to make sure and compare. Because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to find the sweet spot to stream. Because streamers want to stream when people are more, most likely online. But it, it's unfortunate that it may be too early for, for some of us. And I don't want you guys not to have sleep. Carlos says, okay. Yes, Carlos. We we're good. Thankfully, there's no man-eating brains in this game. Whoa, a video player. Fonsu. Can we play games? In the woods, play. Let's see. Are you sure you want to watch? Benjamin's on TV? <laughs> Is that the monster? Damn it, I broke Benjamin's tape. I don't think you broke it. I think Mr. Narrator has some explaining to do. So wait, so the voice... Could potentially. Hmm. I do remember most of it, but not Maybe all of it. it. <laughs> Is that possible? Can you remember like the most important parts, but like the least important parts? Sparkle it, sparkle it, sparkle. There I'm you go. To the video player. <laughs> I don't know why. Well, actually, I was thinking like I th I feel like I'm more sleepy. Maybe streaming earlier than usual. But I feel like I'm more tired when I stream later. Ah, uh, what a cozy couch. Is that Benjamin's diary? Read Benjamin's diary or respect Benjamin's privacy. How do we know if it's a diary? We're reading it. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a little look in Just start. a little look, Chikang! Good morning! By Benjamin Julius Red Fox. By Benjamin Johannalius Red Fox. I knew his name was Benjamin. So Benjamin's not from open fields? I bet he has an accent. I love that in a fox. 
So she doesn't read it, but she'll comment. I must make dangerous mission. Mission must be done. It's what I trained to make. Nervous, but it is okay. I have studied and have gained more confidence. I travel from Sernesirdi, Sernesirdi to Pandora from fog when the fog appears. I pack things and food. No information on how long I'll stay. I rent cabin until work is done. My task is very important. Boss told me many victims in town. I need courage. After long walks in the fog, I arrived in the city called Open Fields. Tiny town has good forest. Cabin very nice. Has TV and kitchen. I sleep on the sofa. I decorate cabin. Fish balls smell funny. Ate mushrooms in woods. I refresh after sleep. Try finding Parasite. Did not find it. Day one failed. Parasite, you say? Is Mr. Narrator listening? <laughs> Please don't. Many victims have gone missing in Parasite game. I can't help. Feel very sad. I sent a message to boss. Some victims not coming to Cerse Day. I see Parasite and it scares me. It's also not eating more mushrooms. Stomach ache and much gas. It is no good. Don't eat the mushrooms again. <laughs> the mushrooms! There's a lot of them Who though. Are the victims? What game? And is afraid of the parasite? Chikyang, good morning! Happy Songkrang Day! Let's go play water. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Happy holidays, Chikyang! Stay safe! Mushrooms, serious danger. Not. I don't feel very good. The dangers of mushrooms. I stay home, cut wood, and do tea and root soup. That has a good taste. Oh, he's very gassy. Oh, poor Benji. I do the dolls for the victims and pictures. If she sees them, then it's good. Parasite recognized. Morgo code P-01012222. It likes to play. I have a guide for steps. Courage tomorrow. Now rest until stomach is better. Feeling no stomach aches, only gas. I go help missing victims in town. Morgo knows I'm here. Morgo play old tricks in many times now. Morgo, Morgo. But it makes one mistake. One victim can hear its voice inside her head. Victim code misfortune is nice code. Morgo can't say... Wait, what? Morgo can't have her, says boss. She must be rescued, but I follow steps. I saw Morgo take shape. Scary. Hmm. Missing? A voice? It's the monster! Boss sends me message. Watch victim house. I sleep outside the house. Hide in the trash can. I fail to find Parasite. It, I, it did not come today. Big trouble. Misfortune watching me. Strange. Why she see me? She has big eyes. I run away. She has big eyes. Felt warm in stomach. Maybe. Mushroom tickles me again. Big trouble? Misfortune? But that's me. I bet he's in love with me. What? He also has big eyes. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> I see Mordego play old tricks again. Victim don't recognize all of this again. All again. Must courage and stop Parasite this time. I sent many victims to Cercede. I got level 2 protector. I'm very confident. Now I have Prime Eye Illumination Cane. All this again? Oh, shake out Benji's stick. I try. Prime Eye Illumination Cane in the woods. Fun. I feel courage. Practicing to help Miss Fortune. I see she makes too much talk. I think she's fun and strong. Morgo confused by charms of Miss Fortune. I did video picking wood and Parasite came. But I'm, I have courage now. I'm scared only a little. Hmm. Yes, I know how to talk. He loves me. I messaged the boss that I'm doing it today. All steps followed. Prepared breakfast tea. Funny feeling with tea. Herbs from woods are fun. I'm cur I have courage and confidence today. I am ready. He's got muscles. Oh, he's behind me. I guess, yeah, I'm, I'm in place of the fox as a fox. 
Oh, he's so cute. If Benji has a boss, he has a job. Then I can be married to him. Oh my gosh! Would you guys marry Benjamin? Would you marry the fox guys? All right, Mr. Narrator didn't hear anything, so I think we should be okay. Let's read a book. Death after life, learning how to be gray, communication key to cooperation, the upside of being a spirit animal. Oh, that's what he is? He's a spirit animal? The meaning of love. It says, when hatred wants to be loved, the fun stories of a boring man. Some music tape. Oh, this is his music tape, but he plugs it in for the speaker. It looks like Benjamin likes to educate himself. I like that in a fox. <laughs> well, he is the only fox she's ever met. Oh, we can play his music. Let's go ahead and play his playlist. Look at that. Benjamin looks so pretty in that hat. <laughs> Wait, but he's only been here for a while, right? Because at this point, it feels like he's been here longer. Oh, yeah, the mushrooms he's been eating. <gasps> Benjamin, I'm really sorry I broke your video player, but you stole the eternal happiness. It was promised to me if I beat the game. I really want it back. We can totally share it if you want. But I thought it was for your mom. Because she said she wants to make Are her mom you happy. Of the thunder, Benjamin? Don't worry. You can hold my hand if you want to. Oh, what are you? Is this a kiss? Is this really happening? What is that? Your diary. I'm sorry if you're upset because I read it, but I was curious. Oh, she told on herself. He says is more gold. Is monster in your diary you're afraid of? I think I saw him too. Oh, the dolls look like Morgo. I just thought the dolls had antlers for the fun of it. Because, you know, it's like a woodland little doll. So I just thought like a nature or like kind of a buck creature inspiration. But no, I guess it is the this monster. You can't hide the children. Now we run. Follow Benjamin! Thank you for the subject. Let's follow! Like if I was a girl in trouble? Yes, run! Don't stay, run! It is a nice cabin, though. I don't want to battle a giant beast. I know I'm a fox lady, but... Uh, Morgo's way too big, it seems. The uh, hands, man, too. Where do you go? He's trying to save us. Oh, there's the red string. Maybe it's supposed to war off evil? Oh, this is his fur. Is he dead? Oh no, is this Benjamin? He's not dead, is he? Well, because it says he's a spirit animal. It was hinted at on the bookshelf, so I'm hoping he's not dead. That would be very... Oh, we just sneak There's through. There's a hole behind <gasps> the painting. Oh. Hello? Alright, time to go. I can't reach it. Oh, <laughs> oh I am, you know. You are pretty small. Okay, let's go ahead and take the this right here. I don't think... Oh, I don't want to go back up there. I just thought we could pass through under, but... Probably not. Uh-huh. Such a clever little lady. Clever little lady. <laughs> I actually got inspired to play because... Uh, I think a few of my buddies here were mentioning that I could probably... Like, do a voice comparison to Little Miss Fortune. Which is so flattering, because, like, I, I mean, if I could voice act youthful characters, that'd be pretty awesome. I mean, that is what I would like to do. Like to do. <laughs> Sorry, I did a little gibberish there. So, yeah. Little Miss Fortune. Well, kind of, but she is Swedish, so... Of course, there's that accent. Time to use my ninja skills. Shh. What a bad crack. Be quiet. Uh, <laughs> this is a ninja mission. Uh, she needs to pull up her pants. Benjamin, are you here? Wait, are her pants too short for her? Because you know how kids grow out of their shoes? I'm sure they grow out of, like, of course, their clothes, too. So then maybe that shows a little neglect on... I mean, her dress fits her well, but 
Maybe it's supposed to highlight there's a little neglect from her parents because her pants don't fit. And they should fit, you know? Because it showed her bun bun. <laughs> I mean, if you look if you look close enough, you're like, ew, those are cheekies. I think this is a teen and up kind of game. I don't think it's E for everyone because of all the like the darker mature themes. More well, I wouldn't say well, yeah, the dark themes would be like life and death and like people committing uh decisions. We saw that more at the start though. But there is a lot of like supernatural Illuminati, that kind of the symbolism there. I mean, I guess because I'm much older, I'm like an adult compared to like a, you know, the main character being a kiddo. It's not as spooky as it was when I was in middle school. Cause when you're a kid, you're like told a bunch of stuff, but as an adult, you're like, eh. It's, you know, if you go to like really cool, edgy, young, hipster kind of like stores, you'll see like all sorts of stuff. I just, I feel like the kids of today, they're not as scared of it as the kids used to be years ago. It could be just like a generational thing. I feel like they're more accepting and open to pretty much anything that comes their way. Maybe not every, every kid around the world, but I think for the most part, because of social media, I feel like they're more exposed to actually more terrifying things than what it was in the early 2000s. Early 2000s, you had to have a computer if you wanted to watch or see stuff or like look up stuff on Google and things like that. Or like Bing, Bing and Google. Or Firefox. I used to use more Firefox back then than I do now. I do use it more, but I kind of use Opera GX. That's a really nice kind of web browser I was recommended. But it really depends, but still, yeah. I think they're more exposed to far worse stuff than just some silly little drawings of, uh, you know, of what could be, like, the the dark... What do they call it? Dark society? They would say that in a lot of kind of criminal activities or, like, suspicious, like, supernatural phenomenons related to, like, an occult kind of thing. There you go. Occult symbols or symbolism in the game. So I think this is teen and up, probably. Maybe. So it was Benjamin placing these, but Benjamin seems so nice. Maybe he put them for that monster. Oh, the trap! So he... Okay. I thought Mr. Narrator was the one who put the trap there when he was telling us not to run. Now Mr. Narrator's gone, so I think that... I think that already sums up who is uh, Morgo, potentially, because we know it's not Benjamin. Hmm, kind of fish balls? This is like sushi balls. Fish balls are actually good though. I've had frozen fish balls. They're delicious. Uh, for some reason, it's like, they don't hurt my stomach really. I'll have it with miso soup. I'll boil it together in a pot. And yeah, I, I like them. I haven't tried canned. I've tried only frozen. Maybe there's different brands of fish balls, but I don't know, they're like, really... they don't look like fish. It's just like the fish meat. I don't see any eyeballs or scales, at least not the ones I've eaten. But I do recommend trying them, but... Mm, maybe they're not for everybody? It's a big vault. Or at least he has a fire extinguisher, that's safe. In case there's a fire. There's a big key. Hmm, a picture of a key. Interesting. Yeah, Mr. Narrator's definitely quiet. My ninja senses are telling me to climb up on this chair. As long as you don't knock over the candle. Hmm. Oops, sorry. A oh. real ninja lady always touches everything. <laughs> I thought ninjas were supposed to... secret button. To... I thought ninjas were supposed to be, like, careful if they touched everything. Press the button? Yes. All right, then. I push the button. Wait, were we supposed to? Okay, I'm just making sure that I didn't make a mistake and she, like, dies. I want her to live. So far, no jump scares. I, you know, we don't really have to run, run. That was easy. We kind of just... Right. time to find Bangy. They kind of just go by the pace. Oh, 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 baby! That was unfortunate. I hope things get better. 
When I got the eternal happiness. Oh, this gotta hurt. Fortune. Let's finish this. Spear them. Get up, Miss Fortune. You spear. We gotta survive. We gotta run. I'm stronger than you think. You've been knocked down before. Did you let that stop you? No. We're gonna keep going. Get up, Miss Fortune. You can do it. You think because... the monster is still up there? Because... You're a little lady. You are the little lady, Miss Fortune. <laughs> How long has she been up? She's been up for like how many days? Well, the candle's been blown out. Probably by the wind when we opened up the... Okay, I'm out again. Oh. Anyone here? Bungie? It's a Mr. deer. Wolves? I guess I'm alone. Well, not completely alone. What about the deer? Oh, a baby deer. So sweet. Does the deer even see her? Dream come true. I'm petting the baby deer. <laughs> I don't think the deer sees you. Is there some? Is that Benjamin's bag? Benjamin, are you around? He must be in trouble. There's been some. Uh oh. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Fortune. Ah, there you are. Hey, have you seen Benjamin? I think he's in trouble. Didn't you hear what I just said? I'm very disappointed in you. Mr. Voice, please, stop playing games. You have lied to me all the time and that's very sucky. I knew I couldn't trust you. What are you talking about? I read what Benjamin wrote in his diary. That's a all lot of it. birds. You're yes. the one taking the children. And I... I'm not the hero of this game, right? I guess the eternal happiness was all a lie. Stop this nonsense. We have to keep playing my game. You can't make me. Yes, I can. Stop Ooh. that. Then play with me. No. You need to find your eternal happiness. I'll give you a clue. It's at home, waiting for you. I'm sick of that eternal happiness. I don't want it anymore. You can't say that. That would break the rules. You heard me. I don't want the eternal happiness anymore. I won't tolerate this behavior. I'll be waiting for you at home. Now, tell me where Benjamin is. What do you do to him? That's not Freaking good. monster. Ooh. Let's see what's inside. Maybe a clue where to find Benjamin. So let's grab the doll. At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. A deal, you say? Hmm. Oh, but he was a baby. He's always loved his little mu. Wait, how come the music devices? I'm curious. Did the music device also? Well, maybe that was his first music device. Maybe he got a new, like a bigger one when he got was older. Cause I was gonna think that's a long time for it to last, and it's changing size, you know, based on his age. <gasps> is that Benjamin as a baby? Oh, so cute. He is cute. Has anyone seen Fantastic Mr. Fox? It's a really good, uh, like, stop motion picture animation. Kind of like claymation. Oh, this is really mysterious. For students of the University of Synersidist Technology. Protect your course. Three-step guide. Three-step guide to exterminate parasitic from being from the beyond. Introduction. As the ultra-reality forms in hand with the concept of time, new realms outside the constituted FREE, five realm of essential existence, have appeared. After the Ultra War, thousands of beings were discovered as byproducts of the war. They created for themselves a new realm to, they refer to as the Beyond. The Beyond is in a simple terms, a place of extreme absurdity with no logical law of physics. We can't allow such beings inside FREE at the moment, 
since the foundation of our reality is based in the energetic and ethical values of the Ultra Reality. Before the Ultra War. Beyond is still a misunderstood realm. We have yet to found the pieces to connect it within the logical manner. The few patterns we recognize are the behaviors of some visitors, also known as parasites. They, form, they normally enter the third reality, also known as Pandora. We seek fresh meat to lure into the beyond. And that's why we need protectors. The protectors are the only ones with the capability of seeing the imbalance between realities and using the tools available inside the ultra reality. Protectors will help victims and guide them into Serasede. The guidance provides in this book must be followed with great responsibility. Never skip a step. For each victim, the protector returns to Serasede. The protector will be rewarded with their new levels, tools, and more steps to follow. Step 1. The protector must locate the victims from the parasite. Protector's parasite case P00... No, P0101222, Morgo. Evaluate if the victim is in need of assistance. If so, then proceed to step 2. Need of assistance checklist. 1. The victim seems to have forgotten his or her identity. 2. The victim is already dead but doesn't realize it. No! She can't be actually dead because that's too sinister. This truly is a dark, morbid game. Just disguised as like a cute fairy tale where she goes on an adventure and, you know, meet animals. There's been a lot of animals. I think birds, fish, and puppy. Oh, the puppy's gone though. The, pu the party puppy. And then the little hamsters. Step three, the victim believes the illusions of the beyond are real. Four, the victim sympathizes with the parasite. The parasite. Checklist of Parasite P0101222 Mortigal. 1. Deforms reality into absurdity. 2. Parasite seems friendly, yet it lures the victim to play dangerous games. 3. It shapeshifts into a human-animal creature. 4. It quickly learns about the environment, language, and culture are not an issue for this parasite. 5. Large flocks of black birds will appear near the parasite. These birds are the eyes of Morgul, giving him an overview of his playing ground. Step 2. Use the surroundings to help the victim become aware of the parasite. The protector can, for example, write and paint simple messages in public spaces to increase awareness. It is strictly forbidden to interact directly with the victim. It could lead to an it could lead to a reversible trauma inside the victim's mind. If the parasite kills the victim, you will need to proceed to step three immediately. Paint? I like to paint. And that's all she gets. She likes to paint. Where does it say paint? Is she does she think this is painting? A revertible trauma. Step three. With the what? Now I will never know. Prepare for direct contact with... Da -da -da. I think we're done? Oh, his back has a heart on it. Okay, let's keep running now. I don't want Mr. Narrator to come back. So the fog... You see the fog here? Ooh. The birds are Morgo's eyes. Does he want us to go ahead of him? Wait, what about the fur? The fox fur on the floor we saw. Alright, I guess I'll take the train back home. It's so late. I thought you would need a ticket or something. Morgul. Now when I look at this, I can see what Benjamin tried to warn me about. He knew all along. Such a foxy boy. Yep, that is Morgul. It says the time is like 1 a.m. Says what? Happy face and fan. Time to wait for the train! Okay, I'll wait here. Waiting, waiting for a little while. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna talk to my myself. So, Miss Fortune, how have you been? Okay, I have this, like, weird day. I saw monsters, I saw dolls, I saw Benjamin, and then I went to the zoo and everything was everywhere. And then I realized Mr. Voice 
had lied to me a lot. And he took Benjamin. And now I'm alone. I don't like being alone. Wow, sounds like you had one hell of a day, Miss Fortune. The train is here. It was a nice chat, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Talk to you later. You go, girl. <laughs> oh, her little imagination is so sweet. And everything she's seen has been nothing but morbid. Ah, Hiro. Maybe we'll get to talk to him. So... Ooh, we can color? Are you for real? Okay. I think she's for real, Z's. Do we have to color it completely? Or is it just kind of optional? Some people said that dinosaurs were found... Oh, it doesn't matter? Oh, I can go outside the lines? Are you serious? Okay, I'm going outside the lines. Ooh, it's a heart. Yes. Can I get that little piece or no? Yeah, some of them had bird beaks. Oh, like I was saying, they said that some dinosaurs had feathers and fur. But because not much of it could be found or preserved when they... ...would dig them up. This is kind of relaxing. I want to color all of it. Chunkingosaurus. Because he's chunky. Or she's chunky. I feel like with an animal with spikes on their back, it must be really hard for them to mate. Sounds like a deadly way to get spiked. I know hedgehogs are covered in spurs. Or prickly pines. Just imagine if people had spikes on their back. And then it just procreation doesn't sound fun if people were that lethal. <laughs> well, then again, bumblebees when they mate, when the male bee mates with the queen bee, so the queen bee will leave her hive to go mate with male bees, so she can bring back fertilize to fertilize the egg. Most times. The bum the male bumblebees will explode during intimacy and they'll go pop like popcorn. It's just a natural order to their world where they die. Imagine males, like male human beings, dying after and you know through the process of fertilizing. Just imagine them exploding. How scary that would be if it was so similar to the insects. Or at least the same way as the mating for bees. That'd be scary if they would just explode. Terrifying. Or, or if it was like this, where we had spikes on our back, coming out our spine. Yeah, that looks painful. But we still got a little heart here. I think about that. I don't know if they ever talk about how, how dinosaurs mated. But I mean, you question how lethal it probably could have been. Because they, they look very... Well, not all of them. But they look very dangerous, <laughs> that's for sure. Scythe... Syrup... Cosaurus. Styracosaurus. Stefan, hello! Valum Valum 3 says amazing how the crayon and the color, yes. Has a ton of color, isn't it? I wish we had crayons like these. It would make everything so much easier. It takes a moment for it to register. I know we don't have to complete it, but I kind of want to. Because it bothers me if it's not complete. I go slower. It actually picks up more slower. I guess it's a reminder to take your time with things. Do you guys ever find yourself rushing with like normal everyday tasks? You know what I mean? Like, on a schedule, go to work, go to school... And you just find yourself rushing the whole time, one place to the next... Oh, we don't color the center? Why is the tongue green? Unless that's a piece of leaf. Could be. <laughs> Stefan says, is... is Carlos her? 
Muerto says, I would assume they breed like sea turtles. Ah, I never thought of that. Oh, where they climb on each other? Yeah, because sea turtles, it looks complicated. I believe sea turtles, depending on the breed, it, it happens later on in their life when they're fully matured. That they'll, you know, mate, but they don't mate like at 10 or 8 or 9. I think it can take like 20, 30 years for some turtle breeds or more to mate or to have like fully functional body for breeding. Kind of crazy stuff. I think the same for like elephants. It takes them several years before their body actually biologically can produce efficiently. I think it has to do with maturity on their, like, you know, their organs. Bing. Aww. It shows the most gentler side of the... Cyrocolophosaurus. I think they're... Yeah, they're... Probably primarily meat eaters. Do do says Segiosaurus, the state dinosaur of Colorado. Oh wait, really? Stegiosaurus. Ooh, what's the what's the state dinosaur for New York? What about Wisconsin? So when they say state dinosaur, do they mean where they find like a primary... ...majority kind of dinosaur? When they start, you know, like... Maybe it's like the most prevalent dinosaur they find in the area, maybe? Ah! Wait, what happened? It forced me to finish! Huh. I don't feel inspired. Well, yeah, because you spent the whole day with the... Uh, big meanie. Big fat hey, meanie! Hiro. I didn't recognize you. <laughs> Hero. Such a coincidence that you're on the same train as me. You know, I had a big fight with the silly voice in my head. But I don't think it's a voice anymore. I'm sure it's the monster. I saw it in a book at Benjamin's place. Really creepy. Have you ever heard voices in your head? I know, Hira. What does it mean? Beware! It's coincidence! Leave Hira alone! Help Hira! Help him! He's just a boy! He's just a kid! And now he's gone. We were no match for a big monster hand. It's like Godzilla was on the train for a minute there. Ooh, purple soda. Purple Fanta. Great Fanta. Oh, so it's I not working? I hope I get to see Hiro again. I wonder what that monster did to him. Oh, now I have to walk all the way back home alone. This is the last time I follow a voice in my head. If Benjamin was here, he would walk with me. Yes, uh. because he's a sweet fox. Look at all the birds in the background. It says, you children, Ian, hide, hide your child, hide children. For Morgul. Benjamin was warning me all the time, but I couldn't see it. I wanted that eternal happiness so bad. I I'm a silly little lady. That's where I am. I think oh. the sun is starting to rise. You can tell the sun is... Let's see if I can go over here. See the sunrise? It's that early in the morning. And we did see the clock too. What about this? At least I had fun at Phantasmagoria. <laughs> the I'm gonna circus. Tell mommy about it. What's this say? It says... Uh, the world needs a plan. Then it says... Kill Monday Games. Which is the creators of this one. Kill Monday Games. This says, um... 
I can't read that one. This one says LOL though. The little smiley face. That's so cute. Open fields. What is the can anyway? I think it says purple... I don't know. I assume it's grape. Kids being naughty. Or maybe they're adults. Because if you look at their size, they look, they're more full grown than Little Misfortune. Excuse me. I'm talking over here. Well, if that's how you treat little ladies, then give yourself a fuck. He's not here to judge you now, Little Misfortune. Alright, time to cross the road again. Tons of birds, though. Huh? Where's the car? Is Daddy gonna go? Before, the first time we crossed the road, it had a, like, ominous sound. The cat's gone, there's a bottle, more beer bottles, red light is on. I don't know if anybody knows this, but red lights can refer to... adult districts, depending where you are in the world. And sometimes people, they don't really say this, but this is what I was told as a child. Or at least growing up, that... Stay away from houses with red lights on. Some people will, will replace the porch light with a different color light. Some people do it for fun. Or sometimes for eye sensitivity, they'll replace it with a warm lighting kind of light bulb. But there are some cases, or maybe most cases, depending on where you live and, you know, maybe even culture too. Cultural influences. People with, with red lights on the back porch... It's actually signaling to... It could be someone signaling to their lover that their spouse is away. This is stories I was told growing up. That that's what it meant. Because, you know, you're a kid, so you ask questions like... When you're on the car... In the car, going for like a car ride or... Place to place or traveling, you're like, Hey, you know, why is that porch light red? Or why is it a different color? And my parents were at like... They would answer honestly. Of course, they would do it in such a way where it's not too revealing because you're still a kid. But they would say that, you know, like, stay away from porch lights that have those kind of colors. It's when people gather together or when they're doing other things. So that's how what they would let their lover know. Maybe that was a childhood story I was told from, like, my grandparents. That back in the day, that's how they would signal when people were committing, you know, adultery and all that stuff. They were creative that way. Of course, you can see that in romantic stories or you hear retelling of, like, story from... You know, relatives, friends, or things like that. But that was what I was told. But it also could mean that it's regarding, you know... Uh... Selling... Selling, uh... People selling their... I, I, I don't know. I don't want to say it. Because YouTube and it'll be on the live stream forever. But yeah, it's when they would um offer... Other things for adults. To other fellow adults. You would hope. And that that's what it meant on a porch light when it was red. So, yeah. But Little Miss Fortune did mention her mother in context. Her mother would give hugs to strangers in alleys for a pack of uh, juice or a pack of ciggies. So, it kind of already goes with the theme of like that dark... And she doesn't know the difference, but yeah, I was told to stay away if you saw a red porch light. Just to keep away because people are going there for a different type of business and... Or it could be someone signaling to their lover that their spouse is gone or something like that. It's crazy what people do. But I mean, hey, that's their life. You know, they're doing their thing. But yeah, just me sharing what I learned as growing up. What it means, so... Kids out there should stay away from porch lights like this. Because you don't know what it really signals. But it's supposed to signal to somebody. It says, what are we doing today, sister? I'm playing games. Muerto says that can be a reason. Saz. Oh, good luck with good luck with the exams, Carlos. Carlos says I'm bad at reading in English. Oh, it's okay. Stefan says I'm gonna hopefully get a promotion at my job. <laughs> well, uh, good luck, guys. Good luck with your schooling and your work. Saz. Um. Yes. Carlos says I hope you get a promotion. And Stefan says, thank you, Carlos. Carlos is OJ. Carl oh, yes. We're gonna go ahead and enter. We got red lights. I like them. Yes, that's what I was trying to tell you guys. It's, it's referring to something else. 
Mommy, I'm back. Hello? Maybe this isn't really reality. But she responded to it as if what it was normal. Found? Bangy? That's not good. So maybe the parents are gone? Hello? Mommy? Bangy? Oh, what happened no. here? Now we die. Congratulations. You reached the end. Noodle, of my come game. back, Noodle. Leave me alone. Bye, baby Poochie. I'm looking for mommy and Benjamin. There's no eternal happiness for you. I don't even Why? care anymore. Of course you care. You know your mommy needs it. It's your responsibility. Yes, I guess you're right. No! Good, good. You're Ready just a baby. for a new game? If I play along. Will you give me back Benjamin? I guess I will. But only if you truly commit to the game. Okay. Splendid. You will love my new game. If you say so. I'm stealing. Or her paper dolls. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you. Wait a minute. You've Didn't done this I before. Do this already? What? Noodle. No, you're not doing this correctly. Then you say something about me dying today, hey, which is totally not true, by the way. <clears throat> Wait. Stop uh, talking, please. Are we going to play another game, or is this like what? I don't understand. If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. And then you say deal, and I say yes. Stop ruining this! Uh, eternal happiness? No deal! Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to... wait. What? No deal. Sorry, no. I was... I was no. interacting uh, with Noodle. How about this? What if the fox was waiting for you in the hallway? But what if he isn't? If the game is about and Benjamin not there, and you leaving wait. me alone, I'll play along. Sure, sure. I promise. You so know we the are way. probably well. He wants us to play along, right? Are those undies? Those weren't there before, were they? There's undies. I have a little sure that Mr. Voice is the monster in my closet. Shiny Evolution Cosplayers Game Corner, welcome! We're towards the end! Oh, yeah, these are definitely... Yeah, I don't remember that. I like her umbrella, though. Do we have to play along? What if I don't play along? Okay, I'm just gonna play his game one last time. No, I don't want to play his game. It was just a repeat of what we did before. How do we stop it? <laughs> How do we get the good ending? Oh no, not again. You promised he wouldn't be like last time. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. Nah, you lied to me. I don't want to play this game anymore. Yes, time. revolt! Let me come up with a Revolution. new game to play. No, it's gonna be worse. New game. Knock, knock. Who's there? No, I don't want to play with yes, you anymore. Yes, he's getting spooky. Oh, it's Shiny Evolution Cosplayers Game Corner. Who's there? Says you got one jump scare from the game. You're scaring me. Stop it. Leave me alone. Knock, knock. Time to run. Knocky, knocky, knock. knock, knock. knock. No. My room! What happened here? My secret spot. He won't find me in there. Just ignore him. There's so many birds. He sees everything at this point. Because the birds represent his peripheral view. Open this door right now, Miss Fortune. No. We have a new game to play. No, I told you already. I don't want to play with you anymore. Oh, sweet unicorn. Please take me to your rainbow kingdom. He just wants to do other things so now that I don't we're like. Playing hide and seek. I love that game. No. no, leave me alone. All right. Just so you know, 
My game is the only thing keeping you alive. Mm. Is that one more of your lies? I will live forever with Benjamin, and there's nothing you can do about it. Will you please stop talking about that fox? He's been trying to take you away from me all the time, and his ugly paintings. Ugh. Oh no, you don't talk like that about my Benjamin. You know what? I'm done with you. I want you to leave. Right now. You don't have a clue about what's going on. But she's self-soothing. This is not the last game you play with me, Miss Fortune. This is only the beginning. Ah! Ooh, got hooves. I'm stretching. You silly little child. Big man Another thinks he's tough. For my collection. More like demonic, though. Oh, is he even a man? Your mind to play with no, he's more eternity. demon. I'm sick of you being a bully. You'll see, Benjamin will come back and save me. No, we made a deal. Did you we? You crossed the path, and now you're mine. Get your hands away from our baby! It's kind of like baby sister vibes. Benjamin! If I was the older sister... <laughs> Oh my god, the flirtation! Magic fox! Is that supposed to be winter vibes? You're gonna fail because of love! We got some love! Bye, Benjamin. At least it's one jump scare. Beware of spooky man with horns on his head and hoofs for feet. I didn't realize they had a garden. It's right behind me. Now, is she alive? I'm really hoping. Oh, Is everything back to normal now? I... Benjamin, save me. She needs to put lady, away her juice. Are you around? You need to put away your juice, milady. I guess I have to rebuild this. I'll make some improvements. But first, I want to find Benjamin. Hmm. Okay, look at the doll. Morgo is coming. Open your eyes. He's the voice in your head driving you mad. Well, now I know what to call Mr. Voice. Morgo. Let's leave. Benjamin, where are you? So did we did we evade death? Or have we no. It's too late. It shows that it has happened. Unfortunate. Oh! I think this is called a peace lily. They have peace lilies at funerals. Hmm. <clears throat> Everything seems normal. Plates on the table. The stew's different. Mummy's juice. October 11th. Banana peel. More juice. Cigar. A cigarette. It's at least. I don't know. Mommy? So it does show that everything has happened, but... But it did also insinuate that she could be dead, and that the other kids were also not missing, they were dead. Mommy! I'm back. Oh, Mommy, her mask. Don't ignore me. Are you angry because I couldn't get the happiness for you? No, she's... Oh. What's happening? <laughs> Her poor little baby. This must be a bad dream. Well, there's the cat food. Oh. Did daddy hit us with a car? Because it shows the tire tracks going here. Oh, and the sparkles. Yep, it, that, that's, that's familiar. Is that... 
Yes. It is you, little misfortune. And it was daddy! Where's daddy at? Mm -hmm. What have I done? Daddy's been confiscated. Carlos, I know this is the worst part of the game. It's like the truth gets revealed that she's gone. She's just a kid, you know what I mean? The process is very hard. Oh, Mikey, you're back. He's trying to smile. Oh, some what warm the, hugs what, and love. What, what's happening? Oh, the baby. We need to go? All right. Now where though? So this we can't go that way, can we? But our dad, right? I think I think that yes. I definitely feel like the dad did. When you wait, are you taking me somewhere else? Because I have nothing against it, but I have to talk with my mommy first. Okay, we have to talk to her mom. Mommy, I'm going to go somewhere else. With Bangi, okay? He's the fox that I like. I'm a little lady, you know? That's what I am. I guess I was your little misfortune for a while. But you need to find your own happiness now. I love you forever. The mom's mask is definitely cracked, right? And then the cop has cracks around the eyes. A serious face for a, a cop. Alrighty. So does that mean... Okay, most definitely the main character is gone. And he's just... He's a spirit animal. So he's taking her to his realm. The spirit realm. Time to go! But it... Oh, Carlos. <laughs> so did he de well is is Morgo gone? And was he was the fox sent by death? Wait, stop, Benjamin. Where are we going? Bangi? Is he allowed to talk? Maybe not. Maybe we're still trying to fight Morgo. Puppy! Oh, puppy! I'm so happy to see you again. It's baby Wait puppy. for me, puppy. So cute. Happy, happy birthday, puppy. <gasps> so the doggy is gone, but oh. at least a baby angel. Little death bug. <laughs> Little, um... <laughs> Muertos bug. So they're like Grim Reapers then. Under seven mint! Okay, those bugs are gross. <laughs> they look like. What are they called? Roly olies, roly polies. Do I have to run? <laughs> I guess I could walk. No, we gotta run. Oh, he is collecting berries. Oh, this place is really cold. She's not wearing much other than like a long sleeved dress. Oh, puppy! Love you, puppy. It looks like noodle. Except our noodle's alive, thank god. Now, did we do exactly what we were meant to do? I'm nervous. What if I missed one? Oh. I missed three! Oh, what's the judgment on this part? We got most of it, but I mean... Three is still three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve out of fifteen. All around disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Huh, 
I guess Mr. Voice game is over now. Benji? Oh, so... Who are you? I'm a little lady. Miss Fortune. That's who I am. Lady Miss Fortune? Yes, you could say that. Good. Step inside. We were expecting you. She seems nice. Time to go. I like the little duck well, four headed cat. So hopefully this is a good ending for her. Is it left up to what is this place? interpretation? Because she still is a child. I feel like you really can't hold it against kids. You know what I mean? For them to go down to the underworld. I feel like she has a chance, hopefully. Little More Fortune, a game by Kill Monday Games. Starring Na Natalia Martinson and Hendrik Norman. Miss Fortune Ramirez Hernandez and Mr. Voice. Written by Isaac Martinson and Natalia Martinson. Gameplay designed by Isaac and Natalia. Programming, lead programmer Isaac and art director Natalia. Artist Natalia and Jessica. Wow! So it really was kind of like a condensed group? That's still a lot of people though. Two artists, additional art. El Elsa and Anton. Anton? Oh, there's gummy bears. I used to play with paper dolls a lot as a kid. We had like a book of paper dolls. I think, I want to say it was like a retro book. I don't think they sell them anymore. Either retro or antique. I can't remember who gave us the paper doll books. It might have been one of my theas. It's where you cut out the paper doll and dress them with like, they're just actual 2D. And you'd have accessories. Muerto says, I think roly polies are called is isopods. Isopods? Oh, Carlos, the tears. It's a good kind of point and clicker. All hand-drawn adventure, of course, with a dark elements kind of game. There is, I forgot, there's another game called Frank something. And it's where the girl's named Frank or something like that. And she gets hospitalized, but that one's a lot more darker than this one. This one's probably the best one to play <laughs> or to start playing. I forgot what the other one's called. Fran Bo, her name is Fran, and she also gets kind of placed in judgment. But I think she's a lot older. So for now, Morgo's gone. But he did take the other children. Wasn't it that he feasts off their energy? Noodle. You didn't do any stinkies, did you, Noodle? Mm, baby. I gotta take her a bath, she's stinky. So did you guys like it? We finished it in two parts. Not bad. We still have roughly an hour to spare. Stefan says, I'm back, baby Carlos. How you doing? I like the jammies. Hopefully the jammies aren't copyrighted. I hope not. So these are all these special things. So these are people who... Let's see if I recognize any of them. Beta testers. Unity adventure creator, Lila Stir and Saint Pete Mastering. Yeah, Fran Bo. Kill Buddies Games, a uh, Little Misfortune 2019 and related logos. Characters and names and distinctive likeness, so therefore, are trademarks and registered trademarks of Kill Buddy Games, AB, all rights reserved. Use the permission. Sorry, <laughs> it was just like very fast reading at the end. Yes, an understandably sad game. Oh, this is the end. What's extras mean? Cinematics or dolls? Everything begins with the song of a, of a jackdaw. 
When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smash against the stone. When unloved children in darkness search for what they have lost, for why they are in pain. When broken hearts are chosen to receive the gift from the beyond. Reality will transform, transform into what the child desires most. The game you enjoy, you can have them all. At the end of the road, you will realize you already signed the deal. Morgo is coming, open your eyes. He is the voice in your head driving you mad. All around, disasters seem to disappear. Deep inside the fog, you defeat him. Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. So those are all the dolls we collected. Art gallery. The town. Oh, it's animated. Are playing with her toys. Going through the creepy cave. Not for children, says police tape, because someone was murdered here. And more of the town. I don't think I remember going this way, though. Now, who took these photos of her, though? I mean, that's questionable. There she is. When we saw, when we went to the zoo, we let the wolf go. Went to Phasmongoria. The balloons that popped in her face. Running for, um, uh, Morgo. I drew him, by the way, for the thumbnail. I drew him and a uh, little version of me whacking him from Miss Fortune. He definitely is a predator, sort of speak, in the game. For children, specifically. Because he doesn't go after adults, which is odd. Oh, like the Northern Lights in Sweden. The foxy, a foxy boy. Now, here she has a reflection, but when as we played it, it didn't really show. It could be because she has, like, a height difference compared to... You know, where it's placement on the wall. Us petting the deer and the deer not running away. When animals aren't scared of you, it shows that they're, they see good in you. They're, I think I've heard people do, when they date, they have a rule that if their dog doesn't like the date, then they just don't date them further than the first. Has any, does anybody go by that rule? If my dog doesn't like you, I don't like you. Because animals are a judge of character. I've seen that. I don't know if it's a viral thing people have had takes on. Or if their cat doesn't like you, they don't like you. <laughs> Something silly. Or I guess it sounds silly. But when it comes to dating, people actually use that as a way to determine who they date or don't date. If their dog likes them, then they date them or something. Ah, uh, oh my goodness! Eyes, I see you've come back to trick me, buddy. With your username. I swallow. You're very goofy. A very goofy. Stefan says, are we ending the stream now? Please don't end the stream. I won't be ending it. We're going to be watching some silly videos. Carlos says, nah, dear is still... <laughs> One word? On word? Unaware. Oh! Carlos, I get it. The deer was still unaware because Little Miss Fortune was already dead, so her spirit was wandering about. So the whole time through the city, we didn't need a ticket, and the only way we got a ticket was through the narrator. So the whole time, we just were spirit. What happened to the kid, though? Dolls, art, gallery, cinematics, because it's the end. So every cin- wait, I, did I didn't have one? I'm missing two? Daddy, the House of Horror, Misfortune. Oh, the carousel. We I didn't do the carousel, so that could be one of them. This could be carousel. And then this here could be another one, too. I think if we stayed... If we stayed in the cabin and he caught us, we could have had another one, too. This is the end of Little Misfortune. I want to give a round of applause. But it's kind of hard to control escape. Ugh, okay. Giving a round of applause! Thank you so much! Kill... Kill Monday Games. Monday Kill Games, thank you! I, I really enjoyed it. I know we didn't get all the achievements, we were missing three stones. Three, three opportunities to sprout, or... Sp kind of sparkle glitter on things we thought were traumatizing. But we got most of the stones. It was just the last three out of the 15. Not bad. It's a good kind of uplifting tale, sort of. It's kind of like a warning. It's like, protect your children from the creeps of, you know, that may be lurking. And in this case, it was just a voice that caught Little Misfortune's attention. That lured her out of the house. And really, that I think that's the most sinister part about it. 
because she's just a kid and doesn't know any better and it led her to her death. I bet there is a deeper story to it. I'm sure the creators won't or maybe they have shared this real reflected story about why they were inspired to make it. Maybe it's just for parents or people playing to know that instead of it being like a person, they created a character called Morgo and Morgo is just supposed to represent evil, right? So like evil in the world that, you know, that people aren't aware of and that sometimes people try to help others have a warning to it. I think it has, that's the positive message, but also it's kind of like, it's showing like what could happen. The worst that could happen to a child is death. And then, you know, the trauma that comes along with their journey, being led astray. Stefan says, thank you, Carlos. Carlos says, happy anniversary. I Swallow says, I wanted to ask if you've ever tried what? What? I've seen VTubers talk. Well, I'm 18 plus. I am an 18 plus streamer, so there should not be kiddos in chat. But yeah, regarding that the device you mentioned, I see VTubers they'll do like con they'll do like contest where they actually have it on stream as they talk or like something like that, or they do that kind of you know. I, I say contest where they'll like go against each other and they'll I don't know I've seen some do it I don't know anybody in particular I know some streamers will and it'll be their gimmick or just an event they host you know just kind of their thing they do but yeah Virgil says happy anniversary Carlos says how many years have you been married Stefan says, it's me and my girlfriend's 14th day anniversary. 14 days? Oh my goodness. Well, congratulations on 14 days. That's nice. That's beautiful. The young, beautiful love blossoming. Protected with your life. We're going to go ahead and exit the game. So these are the extras. The credits. We'll have the credit scene. I love these little sparkles. So this will be it. There you go. We're, we're done for now for a little bit's fortune. I don't think there is a part two or nothing. We're gonna go and... I guess I could... Ooh, I got too big. I can go ahead and... I could do... This one can go away. Hard read humor can stay. I'm gonna open up the Opera GX web browser and we're gonna react to some... some videos. I gotta think. There was a video I wanted us to watch after. I can't remember though. Ooh, voice acting. I want to show you. Um, it's really cool. It's like behind the scenes voice acting. I gotta find it real quick. You guys are gonna go nuts for this, okay? These are voice actors from JP. Let me take off the uh, game capture. All right, are you ready to hear some guys do some uh, female voice acting? So there are male voice actors that do female characters. So I'm going to show you guys and your mind's going to explode. These are talented individuals who do this for a living. Are you ready to be mind blown? This guy is going to do Aoi. Uh, I probably, okay, forgive me for butchering names. I probably did all stream. Forgive me for my lack of their native tongue. But I do want to shine light on how talented they are. So this is female voice acting. Ready to go ahead and see funny moments. Okay, hopefully we don't get any ads. If we do, I'll just mute it. Okay, ready? Are you guys ready? So there is English dub here. Or yes. So, yeah. See. Uh, <laughs> 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 You ready? Voicing a baby! <laughs> Dang. Can you believe he did that? I know guys, uh, like, you know, when they're in their youth, or even now, guys are just such goofs, but he turned it into a talent, and I'm sure he has voiced baby characters. Isn't that crazy? So some guys are like, you know, some people love their waifus, and it turns out their waifus are voiced by, like, a male voice actor. Don't be surprised. They get really creative. 
And they'll, you know, they want to hire somebody talented enough to voice it and bring that character to life. Virgil says, on the shore, it's Demon Slayer. Let's go. Some Demon Slayer? We can. That's unexpected, says Virgil. <laughs> Carla says, uh, wit roses, white roses. Oh. I'll let you guys discuss what you drink. But yeah, he made a baby sound. I don't think I could. I know we had somebody in chat earlier that was asking about voices and I know VTubers get taunted or, you know, it's kind of just what people do sometimes. They'll taunt VTubers about their voices. Like, are you a man? And um, all that stuff. I mean, I wish I was a man. I'd be very muscular and um, very... I probably would be uh, like... Well, because I do exercise, but I feel like men can build their muscles much better. If on the right diet, of course, for everybody. Like, women can too. But I definitely would be built. And would I, I don't think I would be a VTuber if I was a male. But yeah, no. Unfortunately for some, some out there, I am not male. Forgive me. I'm sure you would love a man with a voice like this. You know, like buns and thighs kind of vibes. I mean, there are some men out there who can, like, have a very light feminine voice. I mean, if you're into it, you're into it. I can't judge or blame you. Let's see what else he can do. <laughs> He's shocked! Ready? <laughs> Look! Go back! どうなっていらっしゃるの目が入ってるもんね。うわ。すげえ。でも本当に子供か、ちょっとこう美少年とか、あとは女性役ですね。ちょっとこうおっぱいが大きいような方とか。おっぱいが大きいような。はい。おっ
voice acting hentai JP. It's a lot more professional than people think. I'm gonna show you that first. Japan. Oh, you misspelled it. Forgive me. Let's see. Reacting to hentai voice actors and actresses. It's a professional gig. You know what I mean? If you can voice hentai, you can voice anything. Cause you get put, you get, you're like tested. If you, oh, this is the good one. This is like a kind of like a, it's called behind the scenes of hentai voice acting idol. Yeah. And to tell you the truth, it, everyone's vocal cords can go to a distinctive levels. It is all about practice too for voice acting. I just wanted to show you guys, this is the kind of stuff that people look forward to. You know, it's nice to see behind the scenes and appreciate the people. And they're all adult women. Like, these are not children, you know what I mean? But they're able to perform and voice very youthful characters. And I feel like people can get that misunderstood when it comes to even like... There's a lot of voice actors and actresses that end up becoming VTubers too. And some of them do share their kind of like their profile, their... What do they call it? They call it portfolio. There you go. So it also kind of gives it our take on like what kind of gigs they got, what they can share based on contract. You know what I mean? I think for the most part, they, they do have like kind of open with their communities, which is awesome. Sometimes it's also like you get into VTubing and then like you network and work with people at some point, you know, get opportunities, people interested. Or you kind of just like have being, having kind of like content, being a content creator also gives a track record about your, your experience with social media and your kind of like awareness. And so I just want to show you that, yeah, these ladies, even the dudes, talented, but it's all practice and their experience. So we're going to see what really happens behind the scenes behind hentai voice acting. <laughs> And they're just like ordinary women who really これ歌っ ready? This is gonna be not safe for work, kinda of, sort of. Yeah. I like that they don't show their face as they make the, the certain where they read the certain scripts. It kind of gives them privacy to their work. I don't know what to do, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. i わあ、お前、そんな高度な。ティ、パンツじゃないもん。それより、ベッドに行かないか。パンパンパン、パンパンパン。See? This is as far as I'm going to go cuz I think the soundtrack is copyrighted. But yes, this is a pro voice actress, JP in the flesh. But yeah, I do appreciate that they give some, like, you know, privacy to them in the works. Because I'm sure you don't want to see someone's face as they make those noises. It kind of, it, it kind of can, you know, endanger their privacy. Of course, I'm sure they gave it, they gave permission to showcase, like, what happens. So this is their recording studio. And this is them watching and reading the script at the same time. So it really gives you that insight to, okay, so this is probably what it looks like for BAs. They'll have a script out and they'll, then they'll read and rec with recording. Of course, you have multiple voice actresses and actors. So this is just the female actress. We don't even see the male actor. 
the year. Virgil says, I oh, LOL. Virgil says, I like English VA, but in animes, JP VA is on the next level. Yeah, it is. Stefan says, watch some Tariki Aikibi clips in English. Carlos says, some gal strict my wit to this gr his girl? What? Voices when I was playing video games. Some guy strict was strict with his girl when voicing video games? Oh, what? What? So wait, I mean, I'm sure... Imagine dating a voice actress who does hentai. You know how, like, I have never met someone like that in person. I wonder if they get jealous that her voice or his voice is available to the public. You know what I mean? Massive production available to the public. <laughs> yeah, this is as far as we go. We're going to give a round of applause for Mark M. Behind the scenes of hentai voice acting. I would go further, but we're going to do a whip. Damn! The reality when it just like when the fourth wall is broken between you and the content. Let's see. The anime man also does like an interview with a hentai voice actress. Ooh. Reacting to hentai voice actors. Mute. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was amazing. Do something else. The serious teacher. Yeah, she definitely voices hentai. That's for sure. It's a very familiar voice. Yeah. She can play like every anime character in the world. Oh. She sounds like every sexy anime okay, character I've I ever love heard in my that life. It's a bunch of guys requesting oh, yes. like the girl to like this make all these voices. This is amazing. This is the sexy greatest cashier. thing I've ever seen. <laughs> and all the guys are like, ah! I'm so giddy, good. I have to go to that store. I have are to you go to that me? store. I have to buy everything. Can you be my stepsister next? I know everyone's like, huh, voice my mom. <laughs> oh, I mean. Uh, I mean, my stepmom. Can you voice a 13 year old preteen? I can. <laughs> don't you? Don't do that. I can. No. <clears throat> hey, Pikachu! I choose you! <laughs> oh, this is a cute couple. M M MXR shorts. Two years ago. We can give them a round of applause. That was cute. I think they're a couple, I think. Let's see. Um. Ooh, hentai voice acting is very hard. This is a take from Trash Taste. Yeah. Actually, go going off on hentai, you mentioned in Joey's interview last time that you were working, you were voice acting in a hentai <laughs> soon. I was very curious, one, if you can talk about it now, and two, what the entire process is like. I assume it's not the low budget arrow games that <laughs> these two are playing when they were growing up. Hey man, <laughs> don't, don't get it. <laughs> yeah, we want to know more about this right. uh, hentai voice acting. However, the production has been delayed because of COVID-19. Oh, yeah. oh so yeah. it's supposed to come out like sometime soon? Yes, or? Uh, we haven't filmed yet. I had an audition mm, and like, okay. I got a role, but we cannot film yet because it, it includes a lot of mourning and that. Oh, like, you know, just the thing, you know? <laughs> This must be like the final boss yeah. versus like You cannot like keep up. enough social distance for that yeah. shoot, so. <laughs> I, I imagine, we want to moan, but we got to keep the six feet, dude. Yeah. I imagine like you going into that audition was like Saitama going into like a kid's boxing tournament. <laughs> like it was just like, oh yeah, this is easy. No. This is easy mode. It was so difficult at first because like there are pictures already there. Mm -hmm. right, uh, right. That's the difference between normal anime and hentai anime because right. hentai anime they got all the pictures ready for you but mm. no more like regular anime they haven't Caden says one question do you know a cricket doll or no i think we were playing with cricket dolls in the game where they were made from like the little pieces of wood or i guess not wood but like strands or would it be considered a strand i think it was more of like straw straw pieces of hay isn't that what makes a cricket doll Carlos says, Miss Sprinkle, search up C-sama. 
I guess after this one, this right here is Mei Ling, right? Mei Ling? I gotta see. Uh, it says, uh, Split Eyes H479 user says, Gotta feel bad for people who have to animate a ball going up and down. For nothing important, user says, and everyone gangsta to the dude says, can you demonstrate? <laughs> V-E-E-L-E-E-7615 -E 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 user says, when I saw the word hentai and voice acting in the same title, I knew Connor would be in this vid. Oh my gosh. I'll let you guys read the rest. Ah, oh, I was trying to figure out I can't, isn't it Mei Ling? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, forgive me if I'm wrong. Mm. I'm looking for her as the guest star of this one. It's just a rough image. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Speak however you want, like within this yeah, amount of time. Right, right, so, right. so the hand size is like fully complete. Yeah, you have to like... You know, match oh, the... Wow, so okay. all yeah. hentai is actually yeah. dubbed hentai? Yeah, it's all <laughs> dubbed. What? It's all dubbed over. So you have to match like the moans and everything yeah. with what's going on the screen. Yeah, lips too. So Damn. that was hard. I feel that hentai voice actors have it so much like harder than <laughs> regular voice actors because mm. like, especially if like you're a female because there are some scenes that I'm just like, damn, this must be like tolling on their throat. <laughs> just yeah, from all yeah. of the, ah, that they're doing, right? <laughs> and you cannot get too into it because like the next scene, it could be like something different. It could be the so... biggest nut. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it could be an even bigger one, you know? I mean, I, just, I, don't, I wouldn't know. I don't watch any any bad things. So, <laughs> oh yeah, of course, of course. Of yeah, course you don't. No, I, I, I like, I, I think we can all agree that we, like, it'd be cool if we could like voice act in a hand. I would love to yeah. voice act. That would be great. Yeah. Just for the experience yeah. alone, right? Wow. Like my audience will never let like me go for it. Yeah. But like they'll probably never take me seriously ever again. Okay. But I have watched in a Yaoi where I did a sex scene. Oh and yeah. I, I have true. that I haven't had anyone bring that up to me much. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, but that's because you're the ninety three percent. Yeah. <laughs> true, true. I, I made my own. No one would hire me to do hentai, so I was like, fuck it. I'm gonna make my own. You're gonna make your <laughs> own. Gonna make my own. I made my own. Two uh, thousand on a yaoi? Where I just moaned. Nice audiobook. <laughs> yeah, you get to hear it in like surround sound. <laughs> Six inch surround sound, <laughs> Connor moaning. Did you, did you ever shout come like seven times? Come, now. Come, come. <laughs> now. <laughs> no, but you know, like when, you're, when I was voicing it, right? You would you would do it and you're like, I'm already getting pretty loud. And then like you said, like you turn mm. the page and you're like, I've got to get louder than this. Right. Like this is the climax. Yeah. Like how do you, like, I mean, I've never had experience having to like screech, like coming at the top of my lungs before, but he was in the manga. So yeah. I had to replicate right. that. And I'm like, it's a very strange process. <laughs> Cause it's so hard to fake come that loud. Cause in real life, I would never shout when coming. Yeah, because in yeah. real life you'd just be like, <laughs> no, I don't want to disturb my downstairs hey. neighbors. They're very, they're very elderly, right? I don't want to be. I'm gonna not. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, yeah, my voice already travels through walls. Mm. Yeah, very yeah. Well. Uh -huh. oh, it's like the low vibrations that travel through the walls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I haven't. Did I tell you this, guys? Like when my old one of my old houses, the walls were so thin that. Mm -hmm my voice had like the same natural frequency as the walls. <laughs> so when I spoke, they would always vibrate. Yeah, your horrible. voice has like a natural, like it's yeah. just naturally resonates like yeah. everywhere. Yeah. It's, it's so great. Yeah, we, we've had comments every now and then on the podcast where people are just like, I actually can't understand what Connor is saying <laughs> because sometimes, it's going like sub. <laughs> like, sometimes it just sounds like mumbles. Yeah. It's just yeah. so deep. It just sounds like, whoa. Yeah. It's like <laughs> just like a sub woof. You, know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. you can just get lost in your voice. Like, oh yeah. my God, I wasn't listening. Here we go. Your thank voice you, is just too you. great. Like, you know. Out of here. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I remember it was so weird because when my voice broke, I was mm. like 13 when I started right. to sound like this. Oh, right. Could you imagine like now? What did you sound like before? Very high pitched. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's yeah. always those ways because I've seen some clips of like the official movie trailer voices and how they got their voice. And apparently they, they every one of them had really, really I high really voices. High voice. And oh. then they just dropped like that when yeah. he reached. People thought I was messing around. Like they thought I was joking because I used to do voices like all the time. Like, oh my God. You know, like way higher though. Yeah. Higher. Mm. Used to like do dumb voices. So when I came into school and my voice started like getting like, mm. yo, yo, what up? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you guys want me to try voicing some little characters from Pokemon? <laughs> I just thought of a Pokemon. Hold on, Pokemon. Huh, I want to say, um, 
sound, huh? Pokemon character, oh, po oh, more like Pokemon sounds, not like sound effects, but Pokemon saying their names. I want to see if I can imitate. I think that'd be so cute. All Pokemon voices. Okay, I gotta try it. I gotta try it, guys. I just want to see what happens. <laughs> All right, let me lower it down a little bit. Okay. And also, just in case, if we do get... Mm -hmm. So, sensor overlay, just in case. Just in case. Okay, ready? Let's see if I can imitate. <laughs> Let's see. Pikachu. <clears throat> oh, God. It's gonna hurt. Ready for the cringe, everybody? Ready for the cringe. Pikachu. Pikachu! <laughs> Pika Pika! Pika! That's as good as I can probably get! But I wanted to do it because I've seen people have- they'll do like Pokemon character impressions. I don't mean like the- like the people of the Pokemon world, but I mean like the Pokemon. Lobasaur! <laughs> I think it's more raspy. Rattata! That's kind of softer. There's like a soft little kind of coo. Ratata. And what is this one? Okay. Wait, what? What'd you say, little dude? Okay. Okay. Smile head. Smile head. You know, I've heard that Ash Ketchup and Ash Ketchup's mother is voiced by the same voice actress. I could probably look that up too. Dengar. Dengar. Let me go back so you guys know what I'm doing. Dengar. <laughs> oh, God. I could play some music in the background. I could play some Pokemon music as we do this. Dengar. Let's see. Dang it. What it was little dilt oh it's ah what's his name? Dido, right? Dido? Dido. 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 Something like that. I'm lagging says Carlos. Muerto says vile bloom or plum. Oh, was that what that was? The little mushroom thing? Because their voice their what they said in regards to their name was so fast. Holy. Hopefully that was clear. It's very light. God. Hopefully this is audible. <laughs> what was this? Oh yeah, what's after you? Wait, 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 what? What would you say, little guy? What's this one? <laughs> Do you guys recognize? Who's that Pokemon? Well, who's that one? <laughs> Carlos says I'm dead. A cricket doll. Caden says cricket doll. Let's see. Cricket doll. Let me see real quick. Because I still want to voice Pokemon. I do want to voice baby Pokemon. I want to try to voice Pokemon. Cricket doll. I think that's exactly what we saw in game. Oh, Cadence, that's a, that's a very beautiful lady. Cricket Dolls is a talking doll. The first unveiled in February 1986 in the American International Toy. Toy Fair in New York. So Cricket Dolls are like baby dolls. I see Playmates talking Cricket Doll repair. So they actually have gears and gizmos. That's like the better version of American Doll. Is this one actually talks? Now, American Dolls, one of my sisters got one because she really wanted one as a kid. She went to go build herself an American Doll. And, man, this is expensive! Cricket Doll. Christian says, that's Jigglypuff! Underrated Pokemon! Carlos is clapping. Thank you, thank you! I'm trying my best to be as cringy as possible in my best attempts to voice them. Jigglypuff! Jigglypuff! Is that how, is that how they sound? Jigglypuff! What'd she 
say? What did she say? What, what did she say? What did she... I can't, I can't remember. She's so fast. This lady has skills. What? What did she... Wait, do they have a list? They do not have a list. The comments are turned off. Hmm. <clears throat> What's up, Shinzo? We finished the game. I'm doing... We watched some voice uh, voice acting behind the scenes and then some trash taste interviews. And now I'm doing my best impressions of Pokemon. But with the, you know, of course, the sensor filter and and some background uh, Nintendo-free copyright music, hopefully. I'm doing the sign of the cross. Forgive me. Forgive me, gamer gods. If this... Or anime gods. I'm sure there's a god for everything. What is this one? Volpex? Morito says Volpex! 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 Let me try again. There's Eevee. Volpex! Volpex! Does it sound almost like... Does it sound close? Volpex! Voice reveal on my channel for real. I gotta go check it out. I gotta go check out Cadence. I gotta check out Cadence after stream. Carlos Estefan and Miss Sprinkles. Adios. Goodbye, Carlos. Christian says, I was just stopping by, but before I forget, did you see the song I shared on Discord? I haven't yet. I've been so busy with my personal. My personal is on fire right now. My personal life is on fire. <laughs> I'll incorporate that into the lore video. <laughs> Maybe. The angstiness. Or the goofiness. <clears throat> I haven't. What do you think of my Pokemon interpretations? We have four more minutes to go. Oh, 151 Pokemon voices. Bulbasaur. 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 <laughs> What did he say? Wait, go back. Go back, please. I need some. Uh, I... Christian? No, I don't... Uh, do I have caption, please? What is... Let's see. I need some. Yamazor. Venusaur. Venusaur! That's as deep as I can go. I'm sorry, guys. Anybody who wants me to have that masculine voice. That's as deep as I can go, guys. Devastar! Venusaur! Char! 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 Oh, baby dragon. Char! Let's go back. Let's see. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. Wait! Squirtle. Oh, isn't that your favorite, Chinzo? You like the little Squirtle, dude? Squirtle, Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle. My voice hurts now. Little baby Squirtle, dude. Squirtle, Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle. It's kind of like very fast. Boy, Tortle, boy. Boy, Tortle, boy, Tortle. Oh! Man, when they get big, they get deep. Their voices drop when after puberty. <laughs> Somebody sounded like or she. <laughs> I really gotta give a round of applause for the actress and the actresses behind these little characters. You know what? I always like the little bug one. You're cute. I like your little nubs. That's cute. Okay, let's go right here. <laughs> Sounds like a, a little dolphin. <laughs> Shenzo says, I'm back again. I didn't realize I had the stream rewinded like two hours ago. So you were still playing Little Misfortune. No worries. But yeah, this character sounds like a little dolphin. I used to make dolphin noises as a kid. 
Man, my family was peaked. In the middle of the night when I was practicing my voice acting. They would hear, like, it would be super quiet. And everyone's trying to sleep and I'm bored and I'm just like, you know, laying there in bed. As a child, let's emphasize the child part. I was a kid, not as an adult. Well, I guess sometimes if I felt like it. Yes. I would make little, little noises. Little goat noises or just being random and silly because I'm bored. <laughs> you know how children can be. Shinto says Squirtle is awesome, but Toadletil... Toadletil is my favorite starter. Who's Toadletil? Is this Toadletil? What does this little dude say again? <laughs> God, uh. <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> Something like that? <laughs> Menopod. 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 Maybe I have to like make it nasally. Menopod. Menopod. I can't take myself seriously. Hold on. Oh. Me. Me. Why does it feel like a horse more than a butterfly? Beetles. Beetle. How many voice actors or actresses did they have? I don't think I can voice act that deep raspy one. WHAT ARE YOU DOING?! <laughs> wow, they were definitely having fun behind the scenes. Ratatat! Eradicate! Me! <laughs> God, no. How many more? 151. The gloom guy. Gloom. Gloom. Ooh, the crabby. What? I remember these little weirdos. They make no sense to me. What is your purpose? They look like platypuses, but with big lips. Oh, my favorites! My favorite other than Mewtwo, not these little dudes, was Meowth! I love that guy. Psyduck! Psyduck! Aw, Meowth. Persian. Persian cat, the bigger version of Meowth. Rawlith! Kind of. Polly! 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 Matcha. Oh, what did he say? Yes, matcha. 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 Shinzo says, I forgot you're dyslexic. Read to detail carefully. To to dial. Oh, like crocodile? To to dial? Yes, very dyslexic to the max. Do you think they still hired me for voice acting? 
Listen, if I... If, as long as you try, right, guys? As long as you try. <laughs> Macho, ma Macho man! Macho man! Macho man! Ooh, what is this little dude? Bell, 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 sprout, bell, sprout, bell, sprout, bell, sprout. <gasps> Ooh, why do I like these little weirdos? What are they saying though? I'm definitely not voicing it that deep. Muerto says chomp, 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 chomp. Chop, 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 chop. Was oh, that what they're saying? <laughs> the little guys. Be a good traveler. Go there. Slow. Snowball. Magnemite. 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 Let's. Magnetar! Let's go. Magnetar! Oh. Ah. <laughs> Come back! What's after this? Ooh, I didn't catch that bird. Neo Levital says, please say Don Poya. Don Poya? What? It's better than Gola Boyle. Chicken butt. Boyle Boyle is in chicken. But how do you say this guy's name? What is your name, dear bird? Butterfish! I would love to voice a character like that! Uh, maybe not the adult version. Mickey! Uh, no. I don't know. Let's go back. Go back! Imagine your your future wifey being I mean, at least it could be curvy. I don't think. Well, are they the tip? What are they the equivalent of their world as a mermaid? I'm sure, there are more visually a pleasing mermaid type Pokemon. I go back. <laughs> so maybe not a singer. Gengar! I like you, Gengar! 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 That's as deep as I will go. What's this guy? Hypno! Hypno! Kiko key. Go back. Kiko key. Electro. 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 Executor. It sounds like four people or three. Or maybe it's like the same person, but I'm like, they had it played a. Like, with them saying it three different times. Executor! I loved Cubone, the most adorable Pokemon! I love you! Cubone, Cubone! Ah, uh, in the live action Pokemon movie with the Detective Pikachu, when they try to catch a Cubone and they tell the story of why he, he or she wears the head. Skull of their dead mother. Kill out, kill out. Kill out. Moe, we go back. Moe. Moe. 
Mori? Monchan. Monchan? Wait, kind of. No, it's deeper. Chan. Coffee! The old little says it's new little wall. How do you say my name? What? <laughs> I'm not doing dinosaurs, I'm sorry. I would only do a dinosaur for my, um, you know. Would you, okay, if, you're, if your lover or waifu or husbando was like, do, do, do the dinosaur roar, would you do it? <laughs> Maybe, but not like that one. <laughs> yeah, not like that one. Chansey! 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 I love you, Chansey. Chansey! Squeak! Ganga smash! Ganga smash! <laughs> to laugh as a child don't get don't 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 don't, don't uh. <sighs> i used to laugh like a little seal kind of well seals are like or 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 you know how they do the ara ara i'd be like ara 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 <laughs> like a choking seal ara 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 <laughs> They're supposed to say ara ara as it like attract. It's like ara ara. But I'm like ara ara. <laughs> My attempts at showing what skills I have. Little seahorse, but I used to laugh like this and I get teased for it. I've come a long way, okay? Go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go-go
Okay, I'll try to get it right. Ah, oh, okay, hold on. What is he saying? Oh, this little guy? Chicho! Chicho! Cool! Go back? That's how you know- That's how you know they love you when they can try doing Pokemon imitations for you. Cool! <laughs> Go back and then give us a- I think sort of. Hold on. We go back. Flareon! Flareon! <laughs> uh. Star. Night Star! Night Star! <laughs> Ah, uh, that's like <laughs> in person. Imagine them in pterodactyl mode as they're voicing this one <laughs> with their arms out like. Rah! Rah, rah, rah! Well then, <clears throat> give me a second. I need some water. Gotta stop the coffee drinking for a minute. All right. I hope you're ready for the cringiest thing. I can do my best to imitate. <clears throat> But I mean, this is talent. <laughs> okay, I can't. Not right now. Slurlux. <laughs> I'm not screeching like that. My voice hurts. <clears throat> there we go. Aww. Sounds like an alien. Wait. Whoa, Mewtwo. I go back to this guy. Work <clears throat> boy! Work boy! Work boy! I loved Mew! I was always trying to voice Mew as a kid. I was like, I love you, Mew. Mew is my top number one Pokemon, even if they're not the most powerful Pokemon in the Ultra series. <laughs> <clears throat> I love you, Mew. 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 Yes. The end. And that was my best attempt at all 151 Pokemon voices. I probably did like 120, probably my best attempt, or 89, 98, 199? <clears throat> ah, hiccups. Virgil says cute. Stefan says sus. Stefan says I'm gonna go to bed now. See you again, all again next time. Blasting off again, goodbye. Blasting off again. I love that. <clears throat> Are you guys ready to end this? It's 9.20. 20 minutes over. I wish I could have this kind of ending. The love between Jesse and James is phenomenal. I gotta find me my James. Or my Jesse. I think I'm more James than Jesse. Yeah, probably. James, James is like the... Like, he's the goofball who goes along with it. And Jessie's like the one who comes up with all the schemes. She's like the brains. But she can also be total goofs. Blasting off again! Are you ready? Really makes the money though. But I want that big 
get you all the more! Team Rocket! We dream big! What a follow-through! <laughs> Blasting off again! Freaking love them. Alright, guys, I'm gonna blast off again. Thank you all for coming! And we finished Little Misfortune. We're gonna try to make a playlist if I remember. Do remind me if I forget. It'll be a play playlist for you guys to revisit if you ever want to watch us play it. <clears throat> Both part one and part two. Alright, buddies, peace and love! And I'll catch you next time. Good night, sleep well, and get some memes. <laughs>